What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Tuesday, right? Tuesday, Tuesday edition of Roby Tech. I am here. It's so good to have everybody. It's so good to see you. So sorry about yesterday. Um, <laughs> it went a little rough. Um, so uh, we we were down. We well, it's not rough, but uh, the individual had asked me who is uh, this build for was like, hey, can I get another NVMe drive? And I of course wanted to. Uh, to um, say absolutely, and so uh, that came in today, and so I'm glad that now we have the full build. Guys, welcome to stream number, I don't know, it's like five of trying to drive towards Portna Plus this month. I wanna give a huge shout out to Kingston who sent these. Guys, these are NVMe drives uh, that we have to basically help us get to Partner Plus. So the way this is gonna happen is basically every 20 sub points, uh, we're gonna be giving away an NVMe drive. So once that happens, we give away a drive immediately. So the moment it happens, the moment we give away another NVMe drive and basically try and hook you guys up with more giveaways. So it should be fun. Again, huge shout out to Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, and then of course Kingston now uh, for hooking us up with stuff to try and get us to Partner Plus because we are trying to do that and make things more epic for you. So that's gonna be happening today. Obviously, I don't know if you saw it, but back here, we got the giveaway PC for the month of uh, November and December. It's sitting right back there. It is the Spider-Man build. It is all customized by the fine team over at um, uh, Blue Horse Studios. It's got all wrapped with Spider-Man and all that sort of stuff. So that's gonna be all lit up. That's what we're giving away for the month of November and December. That is the sub only PC uh, for that month. You might notice it's missing a GPU. We're trying to find it. It is around here somewhere. It's the Zotac 4070 uh, sub only PC, uh, uh, for, uh, 4070 um, special edition uh, Spider-Man. We'll get that in there, but that is the BC we're giving away. It's absolutely epic. And of course you can check out the video on that, but all you gotta do is be subscribed during the month of November, December to be entered to win. Jovian, thank you for the sub. Thank you very much for Tom for the sub. So that is all the stuff that's going on as well. Now you might be asking, Roby, what is what is this whole thing? What is the what is the magic? What is going on for the month? What is this 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 drive towards um, uh, basically uh, Partner Plus? So basically, the way this works is we need to get to Partner Plus. The way to get to Partner Plus is we need people who are subscribed at Tier One tier two and tier three. If I get 65, wow, we're already at hype train. Uh, we're already at hype train. So if we get tier, if we get people subscribed at tier three, uh, that means you have a tier three reoccurring sub. That basically means that at that point in time, we basically uh, are, we need 65 of those people and we're basically good to go for partner plus. If we get tier two, that's like there were three points or two points, I think. Uh, so we need 170 something of those, or we need 350 tier one. So they have to be tier one, tier two, three. Unfortunately, prime doesn't work un uh, for this, unfortunately. Um, so we need basically reoccurring subs. Once that happens, Basically, we're gonna give away an amazing uh, uh, Twitch-themed PC that we're doing that's a in honor of Twitch. Uh, all we have to do is hit Martyr Plus, and then if we hit it month one, we'll give away a 14900K. If we hit month two, we'll give away a 7950X. If we hit it month three, uh, we'll give away an RTX 4080. So that's all the stuff that's going on, and you guys are a huge part of that. So people like Elusive Shadow giving a tier one sub. <clears throat> people like Sh uh, Scott Maxfield, Jovian TV, you guys are basically making it happen. That was three points. If we, every 20 points, we basically give away a NVMe drive from Kingston. And then uh, that happens like, so it could be two tier three subs and like four tier one subs. And we basically unlock stuff and things like that. So it's, we have three tier ones already. So that's three points right there. So yeah, thank you very much for all of the support and all that sort of stuff. If you have a prime sub, all you gotta do is uh, uh, transfer that over to a tier one sub and you're basically helping me get there. If you're a tier, if you could do tier two or tier three, that would be massive and I really appreciate it. It's only for three months. So $21, you unlock our ability to get better promotion, better deals, and then of course, uh, also a higher rev share as well. So it's all part of it. We just got partner and that is, I, I can't do it without you. So it was very much Ricken. There we must subscribe for one month at tier one. There's another one right there. So again, we're already uh, four, what, four out of 20 and we're already giving away an NVMe drive. The other thing too, 250 likes on YouTube. Head over to youtube.com slash Live. We'll get the link for that 
Uh, if we get 250 likes, we give away a $25 New Egg gift card. If we get 30, 50 subs, we give away a $50 New Egg gift card. If we get a level five hype train, which we're already at level three, we also give away a $25 New Egg gift card. If we get to a level 10, then we'll just give you guys 100 bucks. It's 100 bucks towards anything. You guys can basically tell me what you want 100 bucks towards. We'll be, get, basically give you 100 bucks. All we gotta get is to level 10. So there's all the hype, there's all the giveaways, and that's all the stuff that's basically happening today. But I need your help. Help me get there. I can't do it without you. So that's my spiel. Um, text the basically, oh, it looks like Zeistin's already in chat already. So text the voice is open uh, and it's good to have you guys here. But what's going on? How are you doing? I hope you guys, we saw the game award announcements now. Uh, we're gonna be doing an air cooled build. Uh, we got lots of, I don't know if you've seen the schedule for this week, but it is jam packed. Uh, as we get ready for the uh, how, the um, Thanksgiving holiday. So what is going on, guys? Uh, people are asking about the build. We'll go through that here in a minute. Guys, one minute and 41 seconds. Let's get it, let's get it up to level five at least. You guys have already there at level three. Let's Can we make it happen? Can we get it to level five? That would be huge. Then again, need tier one, tier two, and tier three subs. We'll give away, I got NVMe drives sealed and ready to go right here. You guys just got to make these happen. We'll give them away as soon as it happens. We'll just give away drives and all that sort of stuff. So you guys can get drives, you can get gift cards, you can get all sorts of stuff. And it's all basically based on um, your um, uh, you guys being generous. So thank you very much to Sergeant Nobody, Scott Maxfield, Jovian, Rickon, all of you guys, Thomas, all who've already basically made this happen. Can I make a small request for my birthday song? Yes, you can. What is it? It depends, T-Man. It just normally it's just singing happy birthday. And 100 bits count towards that too. Guys, 55 seconds. Who's going to who's going to get us up there? Sergeant Nobody already getting it started for the week. This is the first stream of the week. Uh, what's your request, T-Man? My voice is still not 100%, but I promise you if we came back. Can you sing it with an Intel CPU box? Of course, we can do something like that. $1.40, I've never even seen that. What is that that we just got? I don't even know what that uh, is, lightning? It's a $1.40 CAD, so there's probably a conversion factor in that. I know, but it's, I've never seen it. 20 seconds, guys, 20 seconds, we can make it happen. Let's get it, can we, can we get that to go? We need some heroes, 20 seconds, we can make it happen. Just somebody's gotta go in there. Well, still, I appreciate the uh, whatever that is. I've never seen lightning before. 10, 9, 8, 7. Somebody can make this happen and we can, we can get it going. No, I guess, I guess not today. Well, we'll, we'll have another chance later on. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for the hype train, guys. Still, that's still 10 subs. Uh, and I appreciate everybody going in there. Uh, what is going on, though? That's the, that's the hype chat. We're getting, we're getting, that's a hype chat. They're getting rid of them soon. Oh, I didn't know that. Hey, kel 2 Jew, thank you very much for the Prime sub. The, you guys, it, Prime subs still count towards winning uh, the sub-only PC and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, but it's good to see everybody. Thank you very much, Not Joe Peace. Thank you for the tier one sub. That's helping me towards getting there as well. So let's talk about uh, the build that we are doing today. Um, right here. Uh, let's, let's talk about the build and then we'll get started on that. And then we'll hold up a... Uh, Dude, T-Man, I'm just gonna sing you happy birthday, man. It's not supposed to be something, this is supposed to be like a nice thing. I'm not gonna hold up an Intel box or anything like that. If you if you want me to do it, man, let's let's just let me sing it. I don't, this isn't supposed to be like some sort of crazy special request thing. Uh, here's, the, here's the parts though, the parts list for today's build, which is not an Intel build, which is funny. Um, so we're doing an air-cooled build inside of the Fractal Torrent, uh, which is one of the best air cases uh, on the market, hands down. Uh, we're gonna be doing uh, something using the AK620 Digital. I'm actually really stoked about this. So we're gonna be using an AMD Ryzen 9 7900 non-X non uh, build. Uh, we're gonna be using the ASUS ROG 6 B650E-F gaming Wi-Fi motherboard, um, which, I mean, if at some point in time you decided, hey, I'm gonna do AIO or something else crazy, maybe did like an MA824, or something like that inside this case to really like cool something crazy, then this, uh, he could absolutely do that. And upgrade uh, he, and he could overclock it uh, using his um, using this weather, uh, motherboard uh, we've got a three NVMe drive so we've got a one terabyte and two two terabyte NVMe drives uh, so this is three SN850 X's we've got the G skill Triton Z5 Neo 32 gigs at DDR5 at 6,000 megahertz uh, RAM for the case we got the fractal torrent RGB this has already got 340s at the, bo the bottom two 180 millimeters at the front, and then we're gonna throw 140 millimeter at the back um, just to make sure he's got all the RGB you could potentially want inside of this case. It's the exact opposite of what we essentially did uh, on Saturday. 
uh, for the uh, cooler, we're using the Deepcool AK620 Digital. Fantastic looking uh, air cooler. Absolutely capable of air cooling the 7900, no problem whatsoever. Um, and then we've got the Corsair RM1000E uh, to support that, um, basically that beautiful 4090, that Asus Tough 4090 that's going inside of it. Um, and then we're gonna have no, with, with no issues whatsoever. So it's gonna be an absolutely stunning build. Uh, and it should be good. Yeah, it, Star, Star Citizen would run fine on this rig. Um, and then the, te the temps should be absolutely excellent as well. But I do owe T-Man a happy birthday. So T-Man, gonna sing you happy birthday right now. Here we go, guys. Let me pause the music. <clears throat> My vocals are a little thrashed, but I promised him if he came back, because it's the day after. So here we go, T-Man, here is your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear T-Man. Happy birthday to you. He has been watching for a really long time. Really, really like, really, really like he comes in. He always asks questions. He's always like, he's, he's, he's had some issues with his rig, but honestly, he's, an, he's a really good member of the community and happy birthday uh, to uh, the team man for, for being here. Usually pretty, pretty consistently. So thank you very much for that, man. So happy birthday, my man. Uh, and then uh, we have... Uh, Zystan joining us in the chat today. We'll probably have Org or Yuji pops in as well uh, at some point in time. But if you guys hear random voices, those are our techs, um, which are a huge part of our community and keeping things um, uh, keeping things going uh, when I'm not available, obviously on Discord and everything else. As I've gotten more busy, they are the ones who who basically do a lot of the other work, which I really appreciate. Here you go. D my dog decided to sing along with you. Well, I hope his voice was better than mine. So I tried very much, guys. And then also we have the $100 monthly prize up for grabs over at Discord, discord.gg slash Robitech. Uh, we're doing uh, international, it's basically food, right? We're doing, Zeisted, you've, you've done some entries already, have you not? I'm assuming, or have you done one entry so far? I have not submitted anything as of yet, but okay. I haven't done much cooking. But I have a bunch of stuff coming up next week. Okay, okay. So he's got, but again, you still have the entire month of November to get in on this if you want to go in there. So, hey, I appreciate that, uh, BLVZBR. I try very hard to be consistent. I'm sorry about Monday. Uh, that There was sometimes it's just stuff I can't help, but I, uh, I appreciate it. And then uh, Blade asks, are you sure it's your text? I was pretty sure it was just the usual voices in my head. You know what? It could be, Zeist, and it could be the voices in your head as well. I don't know what goes on in there. Uh, I, I have played it's, games. It's a few. one. Yeah, it's, it can be a little odd. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Let's get our, let's get our build started. Uh, I love building in this case, but it is a little cramped for cable management. Um, so there we go. Which, uh, you just got finished doing your cable management, Zeistin. Eh, it's been over a week now, but yes, it, it is finally done, and there were pictures, so there is proof. That it actually got finished. He kept his promise to me, even though it really wasn't a promise. <laughs> I'm just going to say, <laughs> come on now. Uh, do people build laptops? Actually, yes, we have actually done laptop builds before. Um, they aren't really a thing, uh, but we do sometimes do upgrade, uh, like we'll do like uh, pre-built in gaming if we have like a lack of builds, which we usually don't. Um, so, uh, but sometimes like we are going to, when the framework comes out, we'll obviously do a build around the framework laptop for sure. Uh, not Joe Peace, not Joe Peace. Oh, I like that. Not, it's, it's like nachos, but not Joe Peace. So, okay. So we have our three NVMe drives. We have our RAM, which Zyson, you're the only one here. So what do you think RAM click wise? What are we looking at today? And then we have our 7900 and then we, oh, you know, I, I forgot we can keep going because we also can do our air cooler oh, uh, already. That's um, DDR5 is not particularly loud, especially on that, on the AMD side. Let's, let's go easy on him today. Let's go 96 and a half. 90, so he's, okay, so I'm gonna let Sergeant Nobody chime in on this because uh, he, he dropped the fiber right off of the beginning. So we'll do, we'll do 97 um, and then go for it. Dark Yemex, they, uh, people like Framework are trying that. Uh, so you can do like uh, upgrades. So we're gonna do 97, thanks to Sergeant Nobody. The vote is going and we're, we're getting that going. Hey, Gray Fox, drop in that uh, Twitch Prime. Thank you very much for the sub, dude, my man. Remember guys, 20, if we get 20 points, 20 sub points, which means tier one, tier two, or tier three subs, we immediately give away an NVMe drive 
Uh, thanks to Kingston for sending me four one terabyte. Uh, these are great drives for. Uh, these are great drives for. Um, uh, for your Anything. PlayStation 5, uh, or you could do it in your build as well because they they actually have the heatsink. And I have a two terabyte. If somebody does something crazy, like I don't know, gifts like does like uh, I don't know, we'll we'll figure it out. But I got a two terabyte just because as well. So huge shout out to Kingston for making that happen. Love all the support we're getting from the tech companies to try and help me get um, get that uh, get my partner plus. You know, Roby, I've been watching your streams for a long time. I'm sorry. I normally, I, I normally <laughs> watch on my PC. Watching you on the new TV I got is kind of weird. Oh, in a, what are you? What new TV did you get? I bought a Samsung 65-inch S90C OLED. Oh, nice. Okay. My, new, it's actually my new gaming monitor. But ooh, yeah. Oh, here we go get doing the peels okay so it's it's a little weird to watch it watch me on the big screen yeah yeah it's a it's a little strange it's a little out of aspect for me yeah i can understand that but still pretty dang awesome that you uh you get to enjoy me on the big screen that's actually how i watch all my videos because we have to i usually have to watch them at that size just to make sure i don't miss anything um so like when we do all the so i actually do watch myself on the big screen a lot um and i've actually got to see myself in a movie theater which was actually pretty cool too so watching myself on like however big an IMAX theater was, that was actually pretty pretty neat. Um, I had I had I could see my I could see my uh, I could see my my blackheads. I think I watched Roby on a projector before Kiltman says. Oh, there we go. Okay, so guys, I think there is all the peels. Here we go. First thing, the Ryzen nine. So a lot of people don't know about the non excuse of. Uh, the CPUs, these are great. Um, so here's the deal. Most people don't ever overclock or use the X versions of uh, the, the things that you would get and need with the X version. That's why I like the non-X versions for the most part. Uh, they're great CPUs for things like 4K builds, 1440p builds. They the, the sad thing was is that the 7900 was actually more expensive than a 7900X, which is unfortunate. Um, so sometimes they can be a little bit more pricey, but for the most part, usually they're less expensive. But for some reason right now, the X, the 7900 is priced kind of funky compared to the rest of the stack. Um, they do come with a cooler. Uh, it's the Wraith Prism cooler. It's been around since the 5000 series. It's probably one of the easiest coolers to install from a stocks perspective. Uh, and it also has RGB, which is always also a nice bonus. Um, but it's always a good alternative, especially if you want to do air cooling. A lot of people think, oh man, I can't air cool like a 7700X or a 7800X. Sorry, 7700X, 7600X, but you can air cool a 76, 77, or 79 a non XQ, and you still get a lot of the productivity and everything else that you get through it. Gamu 60 dropping a tier one sub. That is another point towards our um, towards our NVMe giveaway um, as we're driving towards 20, guys. That's what we're always going through. The board. And just a, just um, as a quick correction, you said they've been around since the 5000 series. That cooler came with a 3700X. Oh, that's right. You're right. They've actually been around since the uh, the uh, 3000 series. I have one sitting in my desk drawer. I you, I love them. These are my favorite coolers for benching AMD builds. I'll throw them on like 7900X 3Ds and stuff like that just to bench it, right? Just to make sure it works. But um, It's a they're, great cooler. They're just good coolers, yeah. The board on the screen is giving me horror flashbacks. Why? Yeah, I'm trying to understand that too. Maiden's got Maiden's got something going on. I promise I don't oh. have I don't Maiden I don't have any EK AIOs I'm gonna throw away or anything. So I, maybe that's the flashback he's getting. I'm not sure. No, no, I know where I know where his flashback's going. He he had a he had a struggle bus moment with this build, and it was the board's fault. He he got he had one of those early revision releases of this board that had a bunch of issues. That oh. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I don't want I don't want you to have flashbacks. I want you to have good flashbacks when you're watching a Robitech show. Oh, you know, that reminds me, I gotta forgot to take the little instructions out of this thing and put them in the board, the box for the guy. I always like to give everybody the manuals. <clears throat> yeah, I just, uh, I mean, we did, we've done a bunch of testing with this already with the uh, previously, so it was no issue whatsoever thus far um, with what we saw, so. 
Do we have any predictions or news? No, not so far. Uh, nothing, nothing too crazy. We, uh, we, I mean, again, we're coming into like one of the other busiest times. There's two really big times in tech. The first being CES, which is coming in January. Uh, we're currently working on sponsors and stuff for that. We will be going to CES for sure. Uh, and then the second one is obviously Computex, which is where a lot of the stuff kind of comes out around cases and stuff like that. Um, and like, um, like that's where, I, you know, uh, IQ Link was, was announced and all that sort of stuff. So uh, those are the two things. And I know that's, where, that's when we're anticipating that NVIDIA will do their announce for, whether it's the Super or whatever it is. Um, I don't think AMD, AMD should have announces. Maybe they'll announce 9000 series. It feels kind of early for that. Um, specifically given that Intel has like nothing, um, maybe they will. Because Meteor, capitalize. yeah, Meteor Lake's got like Meteor Lake's mobile only. So, uh, so far, we don't even know what it's 15th gen. It's not even 15th gen. Like we don't really know what's happening with um, desktop processors, but we do know they're being renamed. Um, and so there'll be core ultra, whatever it is. Like we got to figure that stuff out. Okay. Where did I put my knife guys? You got to go find my knife. I'll be right back. You're already losing the sharp things. I know. I used it to open the case box out here, and I think I left it out here when I... Oh, there it is. Just sitting there open. I'm going to kill something, and I don't want to do that. That'd be bad. Okay, so do we have... I think the case prediction's done, yeah? The click prediction? Oh, we got a request uh, for a dad joke. Yeah, I, I think the prediction's done with. Okay, cool. Okay, good, there we go. And I gotta do a dad joke. I gotta be not as bad as I was last time and wait like till the end of the show to actually do it. AMD just announced new 50 series CPU with high cache X3D procs on AMD AM5. So wait a minute, what does that mean? Does that mean there's like a 5,000 series that works on AM5? Or is that like their APUs? Did we just get like an APU announce? Yeah, 7800X3D is just a freaking banger CPU. Really? Why would they release AM4 CPUs? That's weird. Because I have a 5600X3D, which, I mean, it's just like, are they revitalizing AM4? Well, they, there, was a, there was a big big article that released with AMD sources probably four or five months ago that, that they were going to attempt to continue AM4 for another couple of years. So I think we're just going to see some things stacked out for a while. I wonder if they just have a plethora of... AM5 or AM4 MOBOs out or something like that. I mean, honestly, AM5 is starting to get affordable. Yep. So, I don't know what having AM4 available means. It's weird, yeah. Blondie, how close are we? Hey, how are we doing likes on YouTube and how are we doing towards our goal of our first NVMe drive? Guys, I'd love to see if we can get like 50 points on the show. That's my goal, 50 points. We get 50 points on the show today. That means 50 sub points. That's 50, that could be, that could be like four tier three subs, or no, more than that. Six tier three subs and like a couple tier one subs, and we'll give away like a two terabyte NVMe drive. I mean, the it's thing like, was, is like tier five was like, I mean, the, the AM5, like some of the prohibitive stuff was DDR5, which isn't cost prohibitive in, anymore. I don't really know what it, it brings. Well, you know, they are still supporting really old stuff. So maybe it's a way it's for them to finally, right, yeah. finally force some of that old tech out of the market so they don't have to support it anymore. Yeah. 
Because, you know, once it once it drops below a certain threshold, it's like, why am I bothering to invest? I mean, there are a lot of people on tier five, so. I mean, sorry, AM4, so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did know, I, I just didn't know. I mean, again, I, I guess I haven't really paid attention much to AM4 news, but well, that'll be an interesting read. It's worth kind of getting their update as to what they're doing. I think I just, no, I didn't. Okay, I did, I did a two terabyte there, okay, good. I love filling it with like, this is like very rarely we'll fill all the NVMe sockets. The, the last build that I did for someone else, I actually replaced a Ryzen 1000 series. And that was just three weeks ago. Oh, wow. So. Okay, there we go. All of the, all of the four, all of the uh, NVMe slots filled. And then we'll do our, we'll do our sockets, our, uh, So guys, we're seven of uh, we're seven of fifty. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get to fifty, and we'll do something epic at fifty if we get fifty sub points today. Which I mean, again, that's actually not that hard. We we do fifty subs pretty regularly, but this would be tier one subs or tier three sub. But sub points, we need fifty sub points. Uh, I do attend, like I did attend many of the keynotes at CES last year. Um, last year, the big problem was is that we decided to do that overclocking of the 13900KS in the ice bar, and it kind of took away all the time to go see all the, the cool stuff. So I'm not gonna be doing that this year. It'll be mostly just, it'll be really about seeing the news and the cool. What is going on here? I got this like stuck in a bad way. Roby, are you? Are, what are your thoughts on the idea on having non-X CPUs for AMD to be uh, to begin overclocking? I mean, I know that it's something that I'm I'm guessing both Intel Intel's actually talked about it too, not having so basically the only difference is just the the um, wattage is the max wattage they're capable of pulling. So I don't know if I have an opinion necessarily. I I think it's just such it's such a the these these CPUs don't really seem to. They're more niche, you know what I mean? That's why they're that's why they don't seem to have their pricing updated all that often and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know if I have a real opinion on it. But that's the one thing I really like about these chips is like honestly, they're just a better alternative for most people because. AMD's done a lot of the work to kind of dial them in, and then you don't need a lot of cooling to keep them under control. So they're some of my favorite chips. Same as the 13.6, like the non-K versions of Intel CPUs, which is actually what most people should be buying. <laughs> okay, let's grab our sound, our clickers. Clickers, is that what we're referring to uh, RAM the, as nowadays? Yeah, the clickers. Let's grab our clickers. Got to give them the sticker and the card. Trying to, like, it's funny because I was using, like, so much uh, Kingston, and now we have so much Patriot that I've been, like, trying to make sure we mix it up with, um, with parts. I'm, like... Getting more of the, like G Skill is a pretty mainstream one, and we got some more Samsung and VME drives, though I'm not the biggest fan of Samsung's pricing. Um, but at the same time, we want to make sure that we're showing them, you know? J Song, I can understand that. Yeah, like the, like the ASMR of box openings and stuff like that. All right, here we go, guys. 
click, the click time, the sound click time. Here we go. Whew. Here we go. T-Man, I do agree with that, that it, it is, it can be confusing and people have a tendency. It's just like, it's like, it's one of the reasons that sometimes like people don't, they buy above what they actually need. Here we go. 97. That was 95. That was actually a solid click. Actually, but it, it didn't have a ton of sound to it, right? You might be right, Zeistin. We might, we might be under on this one. Here we go. Ninety. No, guys, we did not get it today, at all. It did not do good. The answer was no today. I thought ninety-seven was going to be pretty attainable. Guys, I will be right back. I'm getting a little bit of some. I guess my uh, my lunch didn't last very long. I'm going to grab some protein bars. I'll be right back. Well, now you guys are only stuck with me. And seeing as I actually ate dinner before the stream, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, we got some Nature Valley granola bars, I see. Ten grams of protein, apparently. Oh, those those are quite good. So T-Man, he used to have his picture in picture up all the time, but it constantly got in the way. So sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Just go with the flow. Yep. Unless we really need it, sometimes I take it out. We have both. I mean, I just turned it off because you, a lot of times you can't... Like like uh, like uh, Zeistin was saying, it seems to always block something. Okay. So... Got out our cooler because we can actually get this all done. Kurosaki resubscribing with Prime. I missed the intro. Can I see a reenactment? Was, is, <laughs> was it that important? Thank you for the Prime sub, uh, Kurosaki. Remember, guys, we're trying to get those... I'm trying to unlock 20, at least 20 points, right? At least 20 points towards that uh, prime, what, towards the the partner plus. But thank you very much for all the subs. Okay, I'm gonna go mute for a second. So I'm gonna eat this one more and then we're gonna be good. On a scale of one to 10, what would you rate your PC building skills? I don't know, seven, I guess, I don't know. Oh, I, I, I'd give you, you know, a, a solid four. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Zeist. He says he says he's gonna give me a four. Hey, I said a solid four. 
a solid four. What would what would people rate it? If you're gonna rate me one to ten, what would you give me? This is gonna be super painful, by the way. Rate me one to ten at my PC building skills. Most people are gonna say like. Three. Oh, look, you got an 11 out of 10. Oh, look. Okay, guys, I'm fueled up. Apologies. Eric Trolking dropping a tier three sub. That gives us six points, guys. So we're at 10, right? There we go. That's a huge one right there. So, so for the people who gave me like a six or a seven or an eight, why those scores? I'd love to know. Like, I can understand nine, five, nine. What is it that I'm doing that doesn't get, make me like a nine? You know, what, am I, what, what can I do better? I'd love to get the opinion on that. A solid one for humor. <laughs> Pig Radio docked you 0 .05 due to the beard hair. For the beard hair? It's just because it's re... Need more dad jokes? No, I'm serious. I mean, like, if you were going to say, like, I think some people actually really thought about that. I'd love to know what was it that you were saying, hey, you could be better because of this. I need this, okay. Oh, so you're docking me for times when I've messed, made mistakes. No, I can understand that. I mean, the other thing too is like, I don't know if there's a such thing as somebody who would get, I don't know anybody then who'd be a nine or 10. More delitting. So some of it is, some people are saying it's because there's not of like enough, not enough um, like high, like you wish there was more like special stuff. Uh, Sergeant Nobody's sucking up for something. What did he say? I give you a 20. 10 for the channel and 10 for being a bearded man with the voice of an angel. <laughs> yes, yeah, Trixie, I remember that too. Sergeant, nobody's like, he's like, I'm getting ready for Christmas. Okay. And Ayato Zex just converted their Prime sub to a tier one Thank sub. Thank you that very much for that. That's more points right there. I believe that puts us to 14. Guys, yep. we need six more points. And then we unlock a tier, uh, we're, we're unlocking an uh, NVMe giveaway. Thank you very much for doing that. And also, uh, I, I can understand, I still owe a dad joke. LA Rams is like, hey, I need more. You know what, I haven't smelled it like we, luckily we have a new PSU today. I'll bring that bill back. The CPU beard comb, the CPU beard comb is because everybody went to LGA. They went to Land Grid Array. So there's not really any to smell anymore. I'm sure you've got a PGA chip still sitting back there. Hey, here we go. Oh, I still have it. It's still, oh yeah, it's it's here. There's that. Hey, Roby, Blondie wants to know if you know that there is a new 
channel point challenge going. Yeah, I did know that. You told me that. Oh, but she wants me to remind other people to do that. She's like, I, I know you know, you knob. <laughs> why did the console? Miss. Why did the console gaming present present cross the road? Oh no! Whoa. To render what is on the other side. I need to come up with like a new way to do beard code. I've seen that one. I like that one, Gorg. Why did the developer become so poor? Because he cleared his cash. Yeah, Zeiston knew what you were going for. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't let you, I didn't, I didn't make it happen. I was like failing. <clears throat> so no laugh. Any expo, so the RAM I'm using today is perfect for a 7800X3D. Um, or Kingston Fury DDR5 or Patriot Viper uh, are the, br the brands I have a tendency to use. Um, and then, But the RAM, if you want something that's RGB and, and awesome, then the RAM I'm literally, you could literally click on the link down in the description below and pick it up. At least not in DDR5. Yeah. BMOC probably has his overclocked in uh, timing the CL6. There we go, okay. Just putting some stuff away just to make sure that we have stuff cleared up here. Okay, cool. Next up, time for some, time for some uh, beautiful painting of the, uh, painting of the CPU. Eric Troll. Did we, I thought, oh, we had, I thought we had another person do it. Okay, sorry. It looked like I thought we saw somebody transfer over. Well, that's good. Gabe, Gabe, that's, that's what I want it to be is I want people to feel like I make mistakes. It's, it's approachable. It's okay. It's just about taking your time. And then the only two is building on so much different hardware that you can always find something on our channel that's close to what you're doing, you know? So that, that, thank you very much, Gabe. That's, that's why I do it. That's the and reason. In, and in the odd chance that there isn't a video, there's where the Discord comes in. Yep, exactly. There's always someone around on Discord who can answer at least the basic questions. Yeah, we have a really good community team. I mean, like, I'll be honest, man. Some of the, like, definitely one of the safest, best places. So few, I get, we get so few complaints about Blondie, which is rare, because I complain about Blondie all the time, but most people do not complain about Blondie. And see, Blondie, he teed that one up for me, and I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> I'm not swinging and missing. Hey, buck me dropping one. There's another point. No, but I, mean, I meant to say like in general, we get very, very few complaints about our, like people don't come in and complain about our community. Like I, I know that like community, I mean, and maybe, I mean, I might be wrong. I mean, I don't know if Blondie or uh, anybody else sees people complain. I do not hear of many complaints about our community in terms of them being non, non-welcoming, non, you know, friendly, all that sort of stuff. And I don't think Blondie would call our community out and be like, actually, we get complaints all the time. <laughs> Only about that Zeiston guy, though. Yeah, it's pretty toxic. Yeah, he is. What's up, Bmock? How are you? Did you get your no, RAM down to CL6 yet? Ah. Uh not not quite that far. Okay, he's getting there. He, he will. I'm, I'm stuck at seven and a quarter. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he asked. Somebody asked, "What is it, like good thermal paste?" I love. I, I like um, NTH one because of its viscosity, how easy it is to spread. 
if you want like a very, very good performing one, Thermal Grizzly is a very, very good performing one. Um, the other one I really like is, um, where is it, where is it? Uh, not fan MX6, MX6 is good. Yeah, MX6. I like the uh, Kremik 2. I also like, um, so there's as good as well. So there's actually a number of them. Uh, the, the delta between them is pretty small, but if you're somebody who really wants to ink out like the most performance out of your system, like somebody like BMOC or like Maiden, Icy Sniper, people like that who are just all about getting the most out of it, that's where you might care about thermal paste so much. I mean, for me, it's like I have a good enough thermal paste on my build that if somebody wanted to start tinker they could but yeah what is the biggest line that you yeah no kidding you're not wrong about that kazia buck me a thousand dollars is a great spot good budget for your first pc um there's actually a roby tech video from not too long ago that comes out clean and performs very well and we're, we're actually doing a step-by-step -step guide we're recording a step-by-step -step guide for that build tomorrow so there will be a step-by-step -step uh, for that 7600, 7600, RX 7600 build coming out very, very soon. If you want a really, really good $1,000 build, that one is, it's one of my favorites. Oh, I love this cooler. Yeah, Ar Arctic is another one that I know a lot of people really like. What's up, Knockout? How are you? Okay, here we go, guys. Time to put this bad boy on here. Ah, good try, Blondie. Good try. Which? She says she's the fire putter outer. Yeah, right. Only if you're trying to put it out with gasoline. I really do like these coolers. You definitely pay a little bit. Yeah, obviously you're paying a little bit for the screen and stuff. Would you say that I went a little overboard on my first build using a 7900 XT and a 7900 X? Why would you, I don't think, it, here's the thing. Value is in the eye of the beholder, right? As long as you're happy, I wouldn't say that's overkill. It really comes down to what you're playing. Now, if you're like, I basically spent this and all I play is like Indiana Jones and the fate of Atlantis, I'd be like, mm, yeah. That's overkill. Or all I'm playing is like Stellar Seven or Wing Commander. That might be overkill. But I think for your build, especially if it's a build, if you're gonna use the power, I don't think that's overkill. And I, I can tell that you're very happy and prideful about what you've made. <clears throat> like if you get, you know, 14900K and a 4090 for Roblox. Yeah, that's when you're probably going overkill. Yeah, but most, the thing is, Supinator, most people are not hitting anywhere near that. Like, it's like, you know, it's like even today, you'll see, like, I, you know, I use this great thermal paste, but I mean, this this CPU might get in the, might get into the 80s, and it's like, you know, the thermal paste is for people who are like, I'm on the bleeding edge, and I really want to ink the most power out of an overclock, or whatever it was. That's like, your min-maxing is when you really worry about uh, thermal paste, you know? And DMAT just subscribed to tier one. Dude, DMAT! There's another point. Keep it going, guys. We gotta get, we're getting, we wanna get to 50 today. 50 points. Not 50 subs, 50 points. Those are two different things. So if we wanted to, if somebody dropped a tier three sub right now, we would do a giveaway right now. Somebody just could drop a tier three and we'd, we'd basically be, we'd, we'd get started right now. Yeah, Karma, that's why they're so expensive. Yeah. I mean, so inexpensive. It's because they're single use keys. So Roby, the, you had a question there from Tirith right above Karma. Um, I have a Ryzen 2700X. At what point would you suggest upgrading it? It depends, so here's my thing. If there are games that you're running or games that you wanna run that don't work, 
um, then at that point in time, that's when you consider that's when you consider uh, when you consider upgrading. It's the moment when the experience that you have isn't good enough for you. I think a lot of people want like somebody to say, "Hey, here's when it's okay to spend money." You should never outlive. Like you should live within you know your means. If you like you know if there if you have a 2700x and you're playing nothing but classic games or like you know similar games to like that are running beautifully on your machine then you don't need to upgrade you may not you need to upgrade ever but if there's something that you really want to play then you got to start looking at you know what is essentially the recommended spec and then determining if you know if you're going to what resolution you're going to play at whether a CPU or GPU might be a better spend so hopefully that answers your question Trying to give you a good, clean answer. Eric. Oh, Eric Troll. Okay, so Eric, thank you very much for giving the sub. So let me let me let me tell you. The the gifting of the sub, the troll, the tier three, I will, I will count, I, I can't count that. Sorry, and that's my bad. They you have that person needs to subscribe at tier three. You gifting a tier three sub is a huge help. And it helps me, but the other thing too is it doesn't count towards partner plus. Unfortunately, gifted subs do not count towards the partner plus points. So thank you very much for doing that and for giving them to Anderson. Unfortunately, it's not the points, and I'm sorry if that was confusing. Still a huge help, but not what we need. I'm sorry. As, did that come out right, Zyson? You know what I mean? I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's that's, it's that's, really lame, Eric. It's yeah. really lame. That was clear, and it's that's a. It's that's so not it's a so great. An, it's so annoying, um, but it, it like you can't. It has to be. It's like essentially, it has to be people doing it, and that's the part that's that that makes it really hard. Like I literally, I get way more than 350 subs a month. Trust me. I just they have to be these specific types of points, and I, I just wanted to say thank you. It means a lot to me. Unfortunately, it doesn't. It, for the giveaway that we're trying to do, we need somebody to say, hey, I will jump in and tier three sub or tier one sub to you, Roby. Does that make sense? But thank you. So if somebody wants to, if somebody wants to join Eric and then sub for themselves at tier three. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, so upgrading your, like somebody upgrading their sub from like a tier one to tier three, that would be huge. And I only need 65 of those. Now, honestly, Eric just basically got a bunch of, so Eric's tier three got him a bunch of entries towards this PC sub in the back. So, see, so there you go. John the Papaya just resubscribed one month of tier three and congratulations. Now, now we can, now we can, uh, now we can do the giveaway. We're gonna give away a one terabyte NVMe drive and we'll do, it'll be exclamation point community. This is a one terabyte Kingston NVMe drive. Okay, here we go. Exclamation point community. Thank you very much, guys. Our first one of the night. And here we go. Starting right now, exclamation point community. So yeah, it says, uh, it has to be a reoccurring sub is a paid non-gifted subscription. So you have to do a paid reoccurring sub. That's how you get points guys. But anyway, that's how it goes. Anyway, good luck everybody. We're trying to get, we're trying to, that's what we need you guys to do. So paid reoccurring. I think it's, it, did you, if you do it, I, John the Papaya, did that say it was a paid reoccurring? Do you know? I'm not sure, but I mean, the point is, is that we are seeing the number go up. We're at 143 points. But it, it, it's a horrible system, but at the same time, I'm sure they do it. That way a streamer can't just gift a bunch of subs and exactly sells. yeah there's it's all about because the other thing too is this is a this is like showing this is like top one percent of twitch streamers guys it's like so that's where we're that's what we're working on something that's not easy so 
So I really appreciate all the support and all the people helping. It means a lot to me. And we are going to do it. We're, we're like, we have everybody trying to help. So it's going to happen, gosh darn it. You know, my, my sub set to renew every three months. So does it, so you you set it as a, re, it does renew, right? Like it, it's, is there a way oh, to say yeah, it mine, not, does this, is there a way to say it not to renew? I don't know. I've never. Uh, yeah. yeah, I could update the subscription and tell it just to not to renew, but. So that would not, that means you would not get points. So if you don't, whatever you do, don't do that. Leave it on renew. Congratulations, e and Loose 98 you won the NVMe drive. Okay, so we get we see a little bit of the RGB at least. Thank you, Bust and Loose Case. We're on our way to the next one, guys. The next, the next one will be at when we get to one, 153. 153 would be the next, oh, sorry, 163. 163 sub points is when we do the, get the next, uh, the next, do the next giveaway. And if we get to 50, which would be, which basically if we get to 200, then we'll give away a two terabyte NVMe. Uh, so you'll, you'll actually see my next sub, Roby, in five days. There we go. <clears throat> okay, here we go, guys. So I get, I actually have it. And so you, if you go to, are you on, are you logged into my account, Blondie? You can see it under revenue earnings and then it's, it's called partner plus. You can see it in there. Yeah, you could, that's the only place to see it. Okay guys, there it is. The, the, it's essentially the AIO is done, which is the crazy part, right? Because like, this is like, essentially like I don't have an AIO. So it's like, I'm taking my time because this build can actually go by really fast. You know, I'm pretty sure the uh, chat en enjoys engaging with you anyway. So Yeah, so I'm like literally spending more time talking to you guys because we'll have some time in this build for sure. All right, so guys, motherboard is done. We're going to keep this on until we get to the point where we're finished with the build, and then we'll take this off and hook it up. But this right here is the digital screen. The one thing I will tell you about the AK620 digital is that the idle temps have a tendency to be a little bit higher um, than they, with, with just normal the normal AK620. But because of the screen, you actually have a, almost a wind tunnel effect. So the actual under load temperatures have a tendency to be lower because of this, like, because of the screen. And then the screen itself will display things like uh, uh, temp, CPU, uh, and actually the top will actually show you how under load the CPU is and stuff like that. Hey, Jozilla61, resubscribing one month at tier one. There's an A month. Now this should, I'm gonna refresh. It didn't change. I don't. I don't understand. Like it's like I think that was a point. I don't know. You just resubbed. Did you? So, Josilla, does yours is yours an? I'm just asking a question. Are yours an auto resub? Like, does it auto renew? I'm just out of curiosity. And, and this is uh, apology for the question. We're trying to understand how the heck this works. <laughs> yes, that's right. The prizes for stuff like this do not count against you. This is just for fun. These are extra ones. What's up, Weishig? All right, well, there you go. So that I do not see the option to not auto renew. Okay. Thank you, Jozilla. 
I'm just waiting, like it's, I don't know how often this thing updates, so I just keep going in there. Hey, Tweakifer, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Mine is on auto renew. Okay, so Tweakifer, let's see what happens. Let's see, I'm gonna refresh this, and it still didn't change. So, I'm, something's happening. It, it may be set to only update every five minutes or so. Yeah, we'll see. The other thing too is it may, it depends on when your auto update happened. You might be getting the notification that you did, and it may actually already have counted. So, which could also be the thing too. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Cause we've got everything ready. Let's get our torn up here. Yeah, who knows? We'll just keep, we'll keep, we'll keep watching it and keep doing our part, right? That's all we can do. Thank you very much for everybody who's doing it. I think we're looking for, and then the, maybe what we're doing, we might be looking for people who've never subbed before, who are like brand new. Cause I think the auto renews automatically count, like I've already got those counted. Or people who upgrade from tier one to tier three. So if somebody, if somebody who just did that, I don't know if it's Josilla or John could go, oh, you never mind, John, you already have tier three. So Josilla or Tweakifer, if one of you guys could upgrade to tier three, if you could, That'd be huge. I just want to see if it changes the point. So if you do do it, that would be an awesome thing. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's a nice dark case, but this one actually is the lighter, the lighter RGB one, the lighter tint, which is nice. So you'll still be able to see everything. Okay, so we're going to remove this. Oh, I hope so. Okay, zip tie prediction is going, guys. Zip tie count is happening. Zip tie man, zip tie man. Guess the count of them if you can. Even us, who can know? Make your wagers on every show. Hey now, Roby's the zip tie man. Okay, there it is, guys. Zip tie count. Okay, so, so oh, one evil skill did change. And that didn't change it either. But he's a brand new one. So maybe that, so I just check it. By the way, guys, appreciate all your support in figuring this stuff out. Okay, but thank you. We're, with that, we're still counting it as we've got three points, right? Because we haven't, we just need somebody to go to a, a tier three and we'll see if that changes it too. Thank you very much for the tier one sub, by the way. One evil skill. Okay, here we go, guys. Uh, oh, I need to get this off. I'll be so happy when this part is over, when I don't have to do this. Once you do it, you don't have to do it again for a year. You're in for a year. So basically one evil skill said, I am in till Roby makes, Roby makes uh, partner plus. Thank you, one evil. The one evil subscribed for three months up front there, uh, Roby, Blondie's asking, does that count for one or three points? That's one. It'll be one. It's only one point. One point no, for one three point, months. Yeah, row. one. Yeah. No, at one point, because it, it'll count for because they're gonna more people are sending stuff for the next month, so those will count next time when he goes it. Yeah. 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 So one point three months in a row. Yes. So yes. Those are like the best because basically it just means that I am good for those. Like that means that this person will help me get there for the next three months. Okay, so there you go. So Josilla 61 went from one month to tier three. So now he already had, so now he's five additional points. Let's see if that changed anything. Thank you, Josilla. It didn't change anything yet, but still for science, I appreciate it. Thank you, Josilla, for doing that. Um, okay, so that was, so he just got us five more points. So there we go. So what are we at now, uh, Blondie? And thank you very much for the science, Gisela. You're, you're huge, thank you. I think the count's at eight, but. It's six points, tier three is six points. Yeah, but it was a tier one to a tier three. So it would be five additional points. Right, so yeah, eight Oh, points. so we're at eight points total. Okay, so guys, we're Correct. almost halfway to the next giveaway already. 
Okay, so there we go. Look at the fan. I love the 180 millimeter fans. Thank you very much for all the science, guys. Thank you for the incredible support. This is why I love this community, because you guys make this possible. I know we can do it, and I want to give, I want to do that special edition PC. And the Twitch team knows about it, so it'll get promoted when we do it. This is going to be epic. So thank you very much, guys. And if you are new and you have not subscribed, or you got a gifted sub, or you got a prime sub and you upgrade, that would be a huge help as well. I'll, we're just trying to get 350 reoccurring subs. Uh, buck me, we haven't announced yet. We'll announce it. Uh, they, it has to go through the legal review and all that sort of stuff. So it usually takes about a week for us to announce winners. If you look at the 4060 Ti, that takes a lot. That took a long time. Yeah, do we have any new viewers today? Anyone who's never watched the show? There's almost 400 people here, so. Anyone new to the show all up? Yeah, giving away PCs is not. That That is a fake hand there, Schwetty. He always does that. Well, thank you all. Welcome new people. I'm just slightly used. Well, thank you, Max. But yeah, Max, I've seen you around before. Well, it's good. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining and saying hi, and for the new subscribers and everything else as well. Okay, what I'm doing right now is I'm just prepping these lower fans. They have all of the cables undone. Luckily, these, oh, maybe they don't. Uh, okay, they do daisy chain. I will tell you guys, this uh, this case does not have the best cable management room. So it's just, you gotta be really smart about uh, getting all your fans and stuff cable managed. And I thought, for some reason, I believed all this stuff was pre-hooked up. It's got, it does have a fan controller in the back, which is cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run all of this stuff down and out and get it done. And then we'll put in our MOBO and stuff. and run as much of this stuff into the fan controller as possible. Well, thank you. Yeah, guys, remember streams are every, usually every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but this week they're, they're Thursday, Tuesday, um, Thursday, and Saturday this week. Now, now the question with that, with you talking about your schedule, do we have any clue what you're looking like next week? Uh, I'm working on it, but it'll only be game streams. It will not be build streams. I'll be in Minneapolis. So Wait, if it, no, no birthday song because you're going to be on it. Oh, okay. You know what? Is that your birthday? Next Wednesday. Oh, well, we'll just have to do it when I get back, dude. Just like what I had to do for T-Man. We'll do dude. You're, there's no way you're not getting a birthday song. The big, the big 40 at that. Whoa, what are you gonna do for your 40th? Uh, I'm having some people over for a cookout Saturday after Thanksgiving. We'll have to definitely, we'll definitely have to do a birthday song for sure. Okay guys, I'm pulling all of the cables through and then we're gonna make them look nice. That's the next step here, is hide our cables. Yes, Blondie, I have a few of those. Not many, what, but a what, few. friends? Yes. <laughs> I knew she was going to say something. Okay, guys, what I'm working on right now is I'm just getting our, our fan stuff, like all of our lower fan cables. So as you can see how you can kind of see them right now. We're going to fix that so it doesn't, so you cannot see them. So sorry my back's in the way. This is about making the build look extra clean, extra pretty, extra fresh. Oh, Sergeant Nobody coming into my defense. What did he say? Just because I have some and she has none doesn't oh, mean she can be mean. 
She's got to stop shooting her friends in the back. <laughs> I gotta buy. I have to buy three more parts for my build, so I just ordered the case. Black mask. What else you gotta get? GPU, or do you? Have, what do you? What do you still have? <laughs> poor, poor, uh, poor Blondie. She's like, what did I do to deserve this kind of treatment today? Okay, so now what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna work on the down here. So this is all my cables for my fans. Pull this out. And then what we're working on here is just pulling these, pulling these cables down and zip tying them in here so that way they do not get out of control here. What's up, Najia? Nalath, I'm supposed to play. My son has been very excited to play with me. I haven't got to play COD Zombies yet, but I am actually pretty excited to get it to give it a go. I've always been a, I've always been a big fan of the mode, and I heard it's like pretty cool, like the big open world mode as it is. Maybe we should do like a community, like because uh, maybe we should do a day where we play with the community. Did Blondie just say karma is lurking? That makes me genuinely nervous. Yeah, you you and me both. <laughs> I am indeed. <laughs> that was good. Whoa, PC guy entry three, another sub, 33 months. Blondie says we're at nine points. Nine points for Gryffindor. Okay, we got those under control now, so you can't see those. Gotta make sure these are up so they can't be seen. All right, just make sure not to lose those flush cutters again, huh? Yeah, no kidding. I, what, you don't wanna track them for me? Not particularly. Dang it. All right. Okay, guys, so we got those in. Now comes the fun part where we gotta figure out how to make this stuff like not look terrible back here. is like my least favorite thing. Okay, so these are our fan hood headers. And the other thing too is like, what's so good is that because these fans are uh, like, ma you know, massive and just really about feeding the, the GPU, should be completely fine in terms of wherever I decide to plug them in. But yeah, you can see already, like, this is what I mean, like back here, there's just not a ton of room for cable management. Okay, let's go to top down here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working on getting these, oops, you guys can't see that at all. Think, yeah. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get all of these into like tight groups and get them cleaned and out of the way. Couldn't even blame that one on the picture in picture. 
No, I just literally had it too too <laughs> zoomed in. I was just that was just terrible camera control. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is just make it look clean. I noticed how when when Blondie started talking about karma, like all of a sudden people backed off. They were like, uh, she's gonna murder somebody. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I'm glad that she lives way over there. She knew how to. She knew how. To, she knew how to stop it right away. She was like, "And all I got to do something is makes it sound that way." Yeah, she says I'm not that far. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, Karma. Karma's like, I'm always lurking. He's like, Blondie plays me well. Hey, look at that. Ed 420AK6AK81. Man, I don't, my mind just died. Two, so tier two, which I think is three points. I think it's three points. So that's three points, guys. Another, 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 another person coming in, gripping it, like getting us, getting us uh, all squared here. Thank you. Blondie says we are now at 12 points. I like Blondie's like, I've essentially turned into the count. One, one sub point. Ah, ah, ah. I really wish, I, I wanna play, I've been like, it's so funny cause I've been playing so many games on my, so I got the uh, Legion Go. So I've been playing a lot of games on the Legion Go cause we're getting right, we're doing, we're working on a buyer's guide for the, um, a buyer's guide for handhelds. And obviously I'm very excited about the Steam Deck OLED. So I gotta get that on the 16th, but uh, I haven't had a chance to like go play like WoW or much of the other games. I've been playing, actually, you know what I've been playing a lot of? Final Fantasy VII. Because I, like, didn't finish it the first time, and I'm, like, uh, like I, I don't know, but I love that game. That's, that's blasphemy in itself. What? No, I finished, I finished it OG. I finished the OG Final Fantasy Oh, okay, VII. okay, okay. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah, no, no. I finished OG Final Fantasy. I'm talking about I haven't finished the remake. So... I finished the OG, got all the ultimate weapons, like grinded the ever living crud out of that. And I am definitely team Tifa slash Cloud. Not you Aerith fools. Oh, I started a war. <laughs> now we'll see what chat has to say. And they're like, what? If Aru was here, she'd be so mad at me. Uh, game I think I'll win game of the year, hands down, will be Baldur's Gate 3. I think it's a no contest. I would be honestly disappointed if Baldur's Gate 3 does not win. Don't get me wrong, huge fan of Alan Wake 2. Um, there are also some very good games, but I really honestly think all just, uh, I really think Alan Wake 3 deserves the win for sure. You mean Baldur's Gate? Sorry, Baldur's Gate 3. It's like Alan Wake 3. Are we jumping that far into the future yeah. already? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you guys. I'm from the future. I've already played it all. Cloud Sephiroth. What about 3D Tic-Tac-Toe? You know, that, that could be a surprise sweep, dude. You could be right. I may not. I may not have completely. I may have. I may have underestimated the power of 3D tic tac toe. Let's see. And I'm if you're a huge you fan of 3D tic tac toe, I apologize for not giving your game enough credit. See, I'm glad you actually talked about handhelds. That way, I would remember to go update my Switch prior to Super Mario RPG releasing in what three days. Oh, that's right, dude. So many games to play. Well, I think what everybody expects to get announced at freaking the Game Awards is GTA 6. 
I hope that the GT, I honestly hope that the GTA 6 trailer is not in the Game Awards. I hope it's its own release. I mean, like I'm go, I, I will be at the Game Awards. I'm very excited. Jeff, what Jeff has done and built up like around that. But I, like I find, honestly, I, I, there's been like always like some sort of weird political incident every time. It like it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's it feels more like a a world premiere trailer thing, and and like I don't know I I just, I just don't I'm not a huge awards fan award show fan, but I definitely agree that they should you know the developers should be honored, like that should happen so. So I, like I said I'm really glad that he's doing it. The devs need a need and slash deserve a highlight. Okay. I think a lot of people were pretty mad about who was who was anybody upset about Starfield? Like Starfield not I wasn't surprised at Starfield compared to some of the other games. I really on like nothing against Starfield. Really think Starfield's a great game. Not surprised they didn't get a game of the year. Though I mean, I think they deserved it more than Resident Evil 4 did. I was not shocked at all that they did not get mentioned. Um, game's great, but it really didn't launch in that good of a state. Yeah, and then it's the same thing. It's like it's funny because some people are like, "Why not? Why not Diablo 4? It's like, dude, season one kind of ruined it for Diablo Four. Well, and that wasn't season one; that was preseason. No, I'd say but, no. I think preseason was great. I think season one ruined it. Yeah. I think they like total. I think it had a chance, and then they like totally butchered it all right there we go guys i think we got some under control cable management down here for the fans there we go might want to go ahead and yeah Hogwarts I do agree that Hogwarts Legacy probably did deserve some sort of yeah Hogwarts was actually a really good game I just think sometimes that's the curse of being releasing too early in the year you know what I mean it's like the more recent titles have a tendency to get remembered and so sometimes games suffer from you came out in January, you know? Because Hogwarts was a very good game. Yeah, Karma, yes. Dia season 2 was much better. But I'm just saying, Season 1 was a train wreck. They had to, like, walk back a lot for after Season 2. I mean, after season one, a lot. And, you know, good on them for doing it, right? Like they did, right? Like they, they heard what the community was complaining about and they absolutely did the right thing, which was like, which is what a company should do. And I'm not, I'm not surprised Blizzard did.
I know I know Mike Yabara, and he is. I mean, he's he. If one thing is, is that he listens to the community. Roby, liking in chat is asking, what do you think is the best case for cable management? Ooh. Size uh, doesn't matter specifically mentioned as well. Hmm, best case for cable management. That was actually, I'd have to think about that. Ooh, that's a, that's, ooh, that's a, like a really good question. I really, I think if I think about it, things like can, cases like the Lee and Lee Landcool 216, there's a lot of room for cable management in that, in that one. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones that I would consider like great cable management cases. Um, yeah, I think, man, I gotta really think about that. There, there's gotta be some other ones. I mean, I don't have, like, there's, there's ones that I have issues with, like the Corsair 5000D. Like there's little things that make it, like it's, it's to be clear, it has a lot of room, but the other thing too is there's just a couple things that it does that are like annoying. Um, the height Y60 is pretty good, like the Y60 and the Y40 because they just have a lot of room to cable manage. Um, there is some, but there's, I'd have to go back and look. Yeah, the Y60 was really easy to cable manage. And the other thing too is like, also, the Y70 was really easy to cable manage because it had a lot of tie downs and really good places to get things out of the way. So I think those are definitely high on my list. Um, I'm a, I'm not the biggest fan of the I'm not the biggest fan of the Lee and Lee like any of the Lee and Lee dual chamber cases, um, just because of the 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 um, hard drive layout locations. So you see, that, like stuff like this, it's like, okay, well this is here, but technically this needs to run all the way up here now. So it like came down to only go back up. Guys, we haven't even gotten to the heart, we haven't even gotten to putting the motherboard in yet because I've been just like getting cables run in the right direction and I'll, I'll and once I get all this stuff done, and I'll, I'll zip tie it down, but I, I wanna just get things placed correctly right now. I don't know, it, I mean, it's funny, I'd say, but there was another case that I remember doing, and I was like, dude, this, is, this was awesome, and I'm trying to remember what case it was. It was so memorable, I forgot it. I really like the Fractal Terra for a small form factor. That was actually a pretty good, pretty easy case to cable manage in. The NR200P was a great case for small form factor managing. Um, trying to think what else. Okay, that's all, that's all, this is all for front panel. The okay, case now, from your thousand dollar build was pretty easy too. Yeah, the pop, the, the Fractal Pop, yeah. I just think like, I, it's, it's um, it depends on how big it is, like it's, it's a little shallow, right? Like that was the one thing that was kind of tough. Um, but you know, for doing the thousand dollar build, it was you know just the right, just the right amount. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna essentially create an RGB conclave here of RGB cables, so they can we can get them all wired together. This will be our bottom and we'll try it. We're not gonna run a, I think I've got, how many headers do I have? I think I have three. So we're gonna split these between three headers.
So that's two, wait a minute, uh, oh yeah, it's two of three. And then we'll have one more that's coming up here. So I'll do the bottom ones on one and then I'll do the other ones on another. Correct, you have two five volt air GBM on the bottom and one at the top right. Yeah, I'm trying to get these into a place where they're gonna be in the right spot. Okay, we're just getting this, this will be, this should be in a good spot for the bottom RGB. Guys, this is like the hardest part. Like it's funny, cause once I get to the point where I'm just putting the MOBO in and stuff like that, it actually goes really fast. Cause there's new AIO, there's none of that stuff. There's just a lot of fans that kind of RGB control. Okay, and then that'll be for our RGB for the one. Okay, so there's that. Now I've just got, I've got to get this one. I have one at the top, right? So that's, that should be, and I have this one. Now, you know what I should have done is this one should have been plugged into here. Let me see if I got room for this one to go into this. I could do this and then, yeah, that makes the most sense, okay. Okay, now we got it in the right way. Ah, cable management, the beast. The slayer of many. Yep, it just, it's just, guys, this is like the little bit of time and then all of a sudden, like I said, once you kind of get this done, especially for this build, it's just gonna go pretty quick after that because there's not a lot of, there's not a lot else to this build. There's a reason that I normally stuff and go. Yeah. Because it just takes a lot of time. Yep. Oh, shoot. Okay, guys, we got our cable out for it already. I think actually, I gotta be really careful. I think actually I can't do this. I think I have to put these up actually. Now I think about it because I think the glass has to go into this spot. So I'm gonna bring it up a little bit.
We almost have all of our RGB under control. We only have one other kind of RGB item to worry about. And then we'll be done there. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Legion of Pirates. It's a tedious puzzle. It's just about being patient and slowly kind of getting it all zip tied and cleaned up and oops. One sacrifice is life for nothing. Hey, only one? We're doing good. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for thank you for making me feel better, Zeiston. Progress. Progress, progress, progress. Progress. Now, just if I made some progress and actually wall mounted my TV like I need to do. That always just takes time. Yeah, the wall mount kit's been sitting on the floor right there for a week. Well, not really a week, but long enough. Long enough. Well, a buddy of mine was supposed to come help me do it. It's his fault. Sunday. Sunday. And our timing didn't work out, so. Well, it's his fault then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go with that. I blame him. With how thin this TV is, it just feels so fragile. I don't want to try and do it by myself. Okay. We've used a lot of zip ties already, guys, especially for a build that doesn't have an AIO, but there's actually a lot of RGB fans in this. It's the opposite of like, it's like I'm, it's like all of the stuff I didn't do last week with the, uh, I mean, the last build with uh, Lee and Lee, it's like I have to make up for it double time with this build. Sounds about right. It's usually the way it works. Okay, so we have three things that are gonna hook up to this. We have the 140 from the rear, and then we also have the AI, the actual RGB from the MOBO. But I mean, in terms of now where we are, we actually have everything we need to, to go ahead and move forward with the build. So, okay, let's do it guys. Finally, go, finally moving forward. All right, let's flip it over. Okay, now we can actually do the rest of this. And the other thing too is like, it's just the one thing we gotta be really clear about is that we, we have our, we have our, uh, we have to run our uh, CPU cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually throw that on here already. Throw this on there because it's like, it's gotta run up and through. Just little things that make this, this build is hard because of how much room you don't have to work at the top of the MOBO. So it's just having done enough of these builds to remember how do I keep this from being overly painful. Guys, let's not forget, how are we doing likes on YouTube? Let me refresh that page so it's accurate. We're at 134. Okay, guys, so don't forget to hit likes. Yeah, you're getting that fourth wall with all the control. So don't forget to hit the likes, guys. And then also, don't forget to go and hit, uh, don't forget to, we're, we're at 12 points, guys. Remember, at 20 points, we, uh, we get, uh, we give away another uh, one terabyte NVMe drive. So if somebody, if that's two tier three subs. If somebody was willing to do a tier three sub, we just need two tier three subs and we'll give away another uh, one terabyte NVMe drive the moment we get those subs.
Thank you, Duom Slayer, for adding the like. Yeah, gifted subs do not count. You have to do, it has to be somebody becoming like, hey, I'm not a sub, or I have a, or I am a, uh, I am a tier one sub or a prime sub, and I'm gonna upgrade to a tier three sub. Somebody upgrades to a tier three sub, then if we get two of those, then we'll give away a one terabyte uh, NVMe drive. Or we could get uh, four tier two, or we'd have to get six tier one. Or sorry, more than that. Yeah, sorry, because we're at, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, sorry, 12 tier one. Or six tier two. So again, guys, you're helping me get to Partner Plus. Really appreciate all the support. And as Blondie said, you can definitely drop subs however you want or are able to. We do appreciate everyone's subs, no matter how they yes, come Yes, yes, no matter, yes, it's anything. It's just I'm saying, if we want to do another giveaway, somebody could just look at that and say, hey, I'll support Roby for three months. That'll be huge. Oh, yeah, guys. So you have all this ready. trying to get my Jundee dropping a tier one, so there we go. We need 11 more. Uh, Naloth, this is actually a commission build. Okay. About to look very, very good. Just ready to feed, get all of that air from that, from these, from these uh, awesome uh, fans. Okay, wow, that is like perfectly placed. I did not know that. That's awesome. Pull this back out. I need to make these a little bit longer. Pulling this through now, guys. Okay, so there's that. And what we're gonna do is take these, run them down and through here. Like I said, you just don't have a ton of room at the top of this build.
Okay, we'll work on that here in a minute. Okay, so that takes care of routing. Whew. It's work, guys, it's work. It's all about making the build. FYI, anyone interested in Cromwell, yep, that Cromwell with the purple eye has a campaign running where you pick four snacks for a care package into a, oh, that's cool. I like anything helping to helping vets. I'm glad, Kenneth, yeah. Cajun, thank you again for the sub. Guys, remember, we just need another, either when you're 11 points away, or we could get two tier three subs, if you're willing to do a tier three, um, or we could drop a, uh, you know, or we could do five uh, tier twos. So that's just going over again. It goes us towards Partner Plus, which is a, a campaign we're running. It's top 1% of Twitch streamers. I appreciate all the support, guys. And we're, uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. You guys have been rock stars and I really appreciate the, co the company uh, and the community uh, coming in and helping. We've had uh, uh, Kingston jumping on with some tier, some amazing uh, prizes as well as Intel and AMD to help make this, uh, this magic happen, guys. So thank you very much for, we're, everybody's, every, thank you for all the support, it's been huge. It's been cool to see it all happening. And guys, we still gotta get, remember, if we get to 50 subs, we can't forget that, 50 subs to give away a $50 Nui gift card. It's not lose, lose, lose view of the gifted subs and stuff like that. That still gets you entries towards winning. I don't know if you saw back here, this epic Spider-Man themed PC up for grabs, up for grabs to any uh, subscriber. So drop a prime sub, you get a free entry tier one, you get uh, three entries tier two, you get five tier three, you get 10. Uh, and gifted subs get you an additional entry to this beautiful Spider-Man themed uh, PC we have back there with the Spider-Man Zotac GPU and all that sort of stuff. So fantastic custom built PC. We have a video that you guys can go watch if you wanna see that. That is up for grabs for the month of November and December. So you still get that too, remember. And you also will get extra entries towards any of our PC giveaways. We got a, we got a Be Quiet PC. We're giving away a Starfield themed PC on stream. Uh, that you get extra entries for, so they, that's where you, uh, remember, even if you're not, you know, even if you're, that's the stuff that you're supporting with your subs. All okay. right. Oh, you're welcome, Mala. Oh yeah, here we go. Let me get this screwed up. I haven't done that one yet, Max. What's up, Sean? Is that, was that the right size? I don't, is this where I got the wrong one again? Is it actually this one? It's where you always think it's the one, is this one of the ones where, fan, uh, I hate it when they, people break protocol and they end up using different size screws. This looks like they use different size screws for their MOBO screws. Oh, come on, that's your favorite. I don't, I'm just like, oh no, it's, you know, it does, usually 99.9% .9 of the time, it's the screws with the lips. This one does not seem to be that way. Don't forget guys, get your likes on YouTube. Nope, it is definitely not these. So I had the right, this is, if you're building a Fantex, if you're gonna build this build, just remember, it's not the screws with the lips, which is usually what it is in most other builds. Oh, that's a peg. There we go. In. Really? That's cool. You're gonna water cool a PS3, that's awesome. Just for fun? Oh, I'm sorry, Uzio. Well, now you're here now, you haven't missed a whole lot. You only missed like some cable management stuff.
Okay. Now, we got all the screws done. Well, that sounds fun. How much is a tier three sub? I have no idea. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we still have lots more cable management to do. Well, not actually not a lot. We did, we've done most of it. There's still some though. You haven't missed it all. Uh, do you really want to know how much they are? Oh, $24. Yeah, $25 for tier three. Wow. 10 for tier two and five for tier one. Oh, okay, that makes a whole lot more sense though. Mm-hmm. But they are running a sale to if you buy if you buy your subs for longer at a time. Kind of like World of Warcraft. Yeah, it's ten percent off if you order three months at a time. Fifteen percent off if you order six months at a time. Okay, what I'm working on now, guys, is hiding. The cable. I'm running it. Off of the top. So that way it stays hidden. And then we'll use gravity to keep it to force it down except for I can't literally fail like 10 times even get the zip tie around. Okay, there we go. Or Abbott wants to make sure you will be benchmarking this rig once once it's done, yes? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. And I know with where you're working that would be tough. Do you have an angle where they can see inside what you're doing? Not really. But we're gonna get it to the other side here in a minute. I gotta figure I'm trying to figure out a way to actually make that so it, it can happen. So people will be able to see that a whole lot more in the future, but it's hard. Okay, guys, now what we're gonna do is it tie this down. I still say we need to bring the roamer back. We, yeah, we actually, I had a roamer cam, uh, roaming candle, I mean, roaming candle, roaming camera, but um, it the latency on it was so high. Not I, The other one would, you'd have to pay a person to be here the whole time. Yeah. And that's a lot of money. Where's Trey? Yeah, that's... Someday, guys, we will have the, the funds we need, so we'll never have to worry about that stuff. Okay, now I gotta think about this. We definitely got that laying, we got that laying down the way that we want it to, so it's hidden. There is our fan holder. Sergeant Nobody's volunteering to drive from wherever he lives to come do it. Oh, thanks, Sergeant Nobody. He says if I lived closer, that was almost a volunteer. Okay, this is gonna go. This is our RGB header. The first front panel connection we've hooked up. There we go. Okay. That looks like it's gonna be just the right length to be able to do this too. Okay, so we now have all of our main cables going. Oh, I forgot, there's another, there's another, there's another cable stuff to come out of the back here. All good, we'll figure it out. So we have 
So this isn't quite ready. But what we can do real quick, guys, is let's go ahead and cook, connect our rear fan. But we're, we're getting actually really far along in the build now. Okay, so let's get our rear 140 in. Oh, that's a really bad idea, PC guy. What do you say? Get a Boston Dynamic robot with a camera. Blondie can control it remotely. Oh my gosh. There are remote cameras. All right, there's our 140. Right there. Oh. Okay. Let's get our 140 in. Absolutely, it is dark Yamix. You say no? We need, like, I, I really wish we, I like, I wish we could have a remote camera person. It is on the list someday that we do live streams, we'll have somebody. We just gotta get, I mean, that's all the stuff that, you know, getting, uh, getting like Partner Plus and all, those are all things that we can like come with things like that, right? Which is why we push for them. I know some people are like, this is annoying, but guys, it, I'm not trying to do it for my own health. Or maybe I am. Maybe I'm doing it for my own health. Definitely not your own sanity. Yeah, definitely not my own sanity. Uh, they are 100% massive fans. You said those are 180s in the front of that case, Roby? Yep, 180 millimeter. Yeah, so it's dual 180s in the front and triple 140s in the bottom? Yep. What I'm trying to do right now is run our I think I can get this cable down and so I can run it into the takes a little patience but you can get it down here, then you then you don't then you can hide the cable. And then all I have to worry about is the RGB. I don't know if that's gonna be able to work. We'll find out. It looks like it will fit. That may not be, I may not have enough room. Which means I can run it up and through. I was just trying to do that because it's like it ends up being one less cable I have to run. But I can, I could potentially just run it up and over. So we'll, we'll try that. Hiding cables is always like the best thing if you can make that happen. Mm. 
Hey, Igor dropping two gifted subs. Taking us to 31, guys. Looking for a couple people to step up with some tier three. Dropping a couple tier three would be awesome. Uh, for themselves, not for a gift. Remember, gifted don't count. So this would be somebody coming up with a couple tier threes or like five tier twos. It's like a subathon, guys. And we have, we're only 12, 11 points away from giving another giveaway. So if you're one of those people, just wouldn't mind supporting for three months. Then once we're done, then I will, I'm good for a year. And helps make content like this and all that stuff too. You are helping me. Beautiful big white fan in the back. There we go. This thing is gonna look good when it's all lit up. Hey, thanks chill, I appreciate it. I'm glad you like it. We keep working on them. Keep making them better, you know? I feel like this is gonna have to go across, which I think is gonna, I think I'm gonna drive myself nuts, guys. I feel like I'm gonna hit it. I think I've got a potential RG, uh, potential, um, cable management situation I'm not going to like. But we'll, I might be wrong. We'll have to see. This is, guys, this is like the, welcome to the fun part of here. Let me actually, I wonder if, where's my phone? Try and turn it up brighter, this one light. No, it doesn't do one, but. Turn it up a little bit more so you guys can see. I'll try and get it in so you get, so I turn it up. Just need to go pull out your NAND light. to plug it in for some reason I'm not oh there we go there we go okay now okay what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna have to do some special stuff here to kind of get the cables to be hidden in the back here. Oh shoot, just realized my front fan, I, I undid it.
Okay, what we're working on right now is just doing little, these are like the little, you guys hear me say this all the time, the little details that end up taking a build to the next level in terms of just cleanliness. So that's the little stuff I'm working on right here. It's just like, what I did is I just zip tied the rear cables into the corner. So again, just keeping that polished. And then what I'm gonna do now is pull this through. Okay, let's, okay, it looks like we need one more like zip tie situation here. One more real one or one more sacrificial? No, this is a real one. It's literally just about keeping the, so like these cables stay snug. That way when they, when they run, they stay together. I almost, did, I almost missed one. Could have been a sacrificial if I would have missed one. <laughs> okay. And then what I'm doing there, guys, is I'm literally just trying to get, oops, wow, here goes the wow stick. At least the screwdriver you hear hit the floor, unlike the uh, flush cutters. Yeah, where I was like, wait, where are the... Okay, now what we gotta do is we got one more little cable and that takes care of our There. I was like, oh, I almost lost him, Seiston. <laughs> the flesh colors. But I found him. Okay. I mean, I've got two pairs sitting right here, but... But uh, you're not close to me at all. I mean, I'm closer than some of the viewers. That is true. This is Timmy from Milwaukee. Long time watcher, first time, first time caller. Rob, I'm sure you probably did. They were barking at the door to be let inside. One more that needs to be tied down. And it's it's unfortunate because the problem is, is that there is a, there is a no, there's a desperate need for a rubber grommet in a certain place and they don't have it on this case. And so and just, you're having to run everything to this one spot. And just real quick, Roby. Um, Twitch users, it seems like there have been some bots that come in if they do not show up in the user chat because they haven't said anything, it's kind of hard to ban them. If they send you spam links, report them to Twitch and block them. Shoot. No, come here. All 
All right, I think we got the cables into the right thing. Now we just gotta Okay, we have hid that as much as, as the best I can, guys. I really don't think there's a whole lot more. I mean, you honestly, you, would, you probably won't even see what I've worked so hard on, which is, I mean, which is kind of the point. <laughs> if you can, then that's the problem. You'd be like, oh, sorry for blocking, guys, but sometimes it's, it is what it is. Okay, so there we go. So now the front is pretty close to done. There's a lot of just little things to keep cables hidden. Okay, so let's do our, we need to run off, what we haven't done yet. It's so funny, we've taken, I've taken a lot of time just to make sure things look nice. Um, but now we're gonna run, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run all of our front, front panel connectors which haven't been run yet and get that stuff out of the way. And then, oh, that's, that's normally a very early step for you. Yeah, well, there's just a lot more extra cable management work on this build. Okay. So going to top down. So this is what, this little clump back here was what I was working so hard on. Um, and the main reason being is that, ooh, and so like, this is like gonna be barely long enough here. And that's for our USB, for our, our AIO. The rest of this is gonna go over here. Some of this is gonna come back over here. So let's run this where it needs to go. Takes a lot of just time, patience. It's it's funny because like this is actually a build that I feel like I can spend the time on because normally we have so much that has to get built. We have so much that has to get built, right? But because this is like an air-cooled build, it just doesn't have as much that needs to be done. Like once I, like once, the funny thing is, is like once I still will get this build done well before I normally get a build done, even with all the time I've spent doing cable management and everything. And that's just because it's just not, it's not as complicated. Okay, this is the last little bit of RGB that needs to get hooked up, so all of our fans are in now. Your earbud batteries? I don't even know what that means.
Okay. Another tie down. Okay, there we go. So all of our RGB, all of our fans are all hooked up to RGB spots now. Now we just got to make sure this stays good and doesn't bend, but at the same time is also tightened. So it's hidden. Okay, guys. Okay, that is all that. That's a little bit that we have left. And then I can run all our front panels. Okay. That's all done, that's all done. Those all get done. Okay, so now, USB, now we just gotta start running. Oh, okay, so we have two, we have two at the bottom and one up here. So we got two up here, two down here. Oh, I wonder if I should have run this. Dang it, I should have run this into a. Oh, here we come with. Riddick with his 20 gifted tier one Dude, subs. Dude, 20 gifted subs. And there he is. Here's the, there's the 50. Unfortunately, that doesn't get us towards the other giveaway stuff, but it does make the... Thank you very much, Riddick. And guys, we're on our way to next to the next giveaway tier. That means Riddick must have finally got released from work for the day. Where is this? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're at 51. So let's do in. We're on our way to $100 new gift card. Okay, there we are, guys. Next goal is up. Remember, guys, we so that unlocks the $50 New Age gift card. How are we doing on likes on YouTube? YouTube looks like we're sitting at 168, but I'll refresh to be sure. Yep, 168. 168 on YouTube. So let's get that. Remember, we get 250, we give that, we get that away.
Guys, we need, how many more do we need, uh, Blondie, for the next uh, NVMe giveaway? Oh, we've got, I've used a lot of zip ties. <laughs> this build is particularly um, power. Blondie we, said we need seven more. We need, so that's one, if somebody could jump, that's one person doing tier three, one person doing tier, one person doing tier three, and then one person doing tier one, or we could do uh, three, four tier two folks, but just trying to get somebody, that means you subscribe. You subscribe yourself. You have to do it. It can't be gifted. You basically do the conversion and uh, get us, uh, get us uh, another giveaway, guys. There we go, TD Kid dropping tier three. So there's six, we just need one more person to, draw, to do brand new sub tier one. We just need one tier one guy. Tier one person, if you could just jump in tier one or tier two, that unlocks another giveaway and we'll do that giveaway right away. Yeah, who's gonna who's gonna follow him and just get it done? There's the house of Tom. No, it can't be a gifted sub, unfortunately. It has to be somebody who says, I'm gonna step up and I so thank you very much for Tom for that. But unfortunately it can't be a gifted sub. Yeah, it has to be, somebody has to say, I will be a tier one sub. Well, you can always up your tier, Tom. Yeah, you could always up your tier, Tom. That would work too. But you don't have to. I'm just, I'm just saying, if you wanted to help, that's how you would do it. Yeah, we need one person to go tier one, yeah. And then that opens up the next level. <laughs> That's fair. We got now okay so now we can actually start running all of our stuff here so fan header this is for the fans in general now we're going to start running all this stuff so we can actually finish the connection process Okay, this goes. Oh, of course. Oh, you know what? I could actually. Okay with it. Oh, we're getting pretty close to our next hype train there, guys. Okay, so here's our our USB. Oh, 
20 points, Roby. How did Can't he get... Coon subscribed with tier one. There it is. And Igor dropping three more gifted subs into Hype Train. Whoa. Guys, remember, if we get... Well, I didn't even know that much time has gone by. It's just, you know, when time flies when you're uh, cable managing. Um... You're telling me mine took three hours. Well, we have unlocked, so we'll do it at the end of this hype train, guys. Um, if we get, we're still need, we just got 20 points, so we'll give away, uh, that is a, uh, that is a one terabyte NVMe drive we're gonna give away. Okay, we're running all our cables out right now. We absolutely are not surprised, Blondie. You know how many fans are in my build. Yeah, I knew it was, we knew it was gonna take a while for him. Okay, that goes right there. Let's do it, guys. Let's get to level five at least. If we get to level five, it's a $25 Nui gift card. If we get to level 10, if we get to level 10, we give $100 to whatever you, you like to anything. You could be like Amazon, you Venmo, it could be cash, whatever. So it's up to you guys, right? This is the time we're trying to get, remember, we're also, we're also 20, more points away from unlocking a two terabyte because that would be 60 points in a single stream. So we could make we can make a lot of magic happen today, guys, uh, in this hype train. So if you if you're if you're curious, uh, we, sorry, we need we need 34 points. We need 34 points to basically go to hit, to get the, to unlock the two terabyte. So we need 34 more points. No, we're sorry. We had to get to 200 and 200 points and we're at 166. So that's what it is. Sorry, Blondie, I actually, it actually updated. So we're at 166, we need to be at 200 to unlock it. I was going to getting us to 200. It finally updated. Come on guys, let's get that level five. Let's get to at least level five though. And remember level five, you can gift subs. That gets you entries towards that Spider-Man PC that we have over here. Igor dropping two more. Igor dropping subs. two more. Two minutes, guys. Uh, Estegard asks, how do you feel about the cable management in this case in regards to the PSU at the top? The back is spacious, but I've seen reviews taking some points because of the top-mounted PSU. I think it's just people are odd. I actually have no problem because you have all that room at the top to do it. So it doesn't bother me all that much. Um, it just, the thing is, is like the... I think a lot of people just don't think that way, so it makes it harder from a cable management standpoint. But um, yeah, I don't have an issue with it. I think I think it's fine. I think there's I think you can hide a lot of cables up at the top. To Town Scott resubscribing, guys. A minute twenty three. Let's at least get up to the next tier so we have more time. This reminds me of building back in the nineties. Feels like there's supposed to be a hole there, but there's not. back when all your mid towers and your full size towers all had the PSU at the top. Yep. Okay guys, we are very Okay, so I have almost all the first 55 seconds, guys. Let's get just get to hype train 4. Reset switch. Twenty seconds, thirty seconds. Riddick dropping oh. five just to make sure. Riddick, you're a rock star. Appreciate you, my man.
Oh yeah. I think, oh, we only have a little bit more front panels left to go. Okay, level four, we got four minutes and 28 seconds, guys. Remember, we're also trying to get those last 34 points. 34 points and we've got it. We've got, we will only be 150 away from Partner Plus. That's a huge milestone, guys. If we're 200 and, oh, that's over halfway before the halfway point of the month. All right, there we go. Okay, boys and girls, I think I've actually accomplished something here. So here's how the build looks so far. I mean, it, I know it doesn't look like anything special. Well, it does look like, because that's because there was so much cable management work that had to happen. I have to, I have to get a zip tie right there. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on making it look pretty. And it takes a lot of work. Support me. Support me. Help me feel good. I feel like this, whoa, this beard, this build, this build has had a lot of just, it's a lot of just making it look pretty challenges, honestly, guys. Okay, let's see if I can get, I gotta get in this corner here. Okay, so I'll go to top down so you guys can see a little bit more of what I've, like the stuff I'm trying to work on here. So how, what I'm trying to do is see how this is all like running along the edge, you can't really see it. That's like, that took a lot of work and then I've got this little just jankification here. I don't know how to fix, like I don't even know if I, I can get my hands in there to, to fix the jankification here. Because it would work so well if I could just get a zip tie in there, but I don't know if I can. It's almost like I need like a U one. It's really quiet actually. One minute and 30 seconds guys, we can do it, come on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is like make like a little, little uh, like ladle, like a zip tie ladle. And I'm hoping that by making this little ladle, I can like scoop it under or something. I mean, at 65 seconds left there, guys, to get the next level of the hype train. Uh, Shweddy, that warning there is because there's a screen on the front of that uh, screen on the front of that cooler, so don't try and rip off the actual screen part. I'm really trying to get this up so I can get this little bit done, guys. How are we doing? Are we gonna get level? Are, are, is it gonna happen behind my back? Probably not. What do you think? Uh, we got 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds, somebody can make this happen. Support me behind my back, guys. I don't hear Zeiston cheering, so that's usually not a good sign. 10 seconds. Oh, come on. I just really want this to be perfect, this build. And the hype trade bend it. Okay, well thank you guys for everybody still for even doing it. Thank you, Riddick. I just need the other end. It's like right there. 
This is annoying. I want it to be perfect. I need to be able to grip something that's like impossible to grip. And it's getting stuck in this, this porous background. Need two sets of needle nose pliers and three hands. Exactly. Ooh, I think I have needle nose pliers actually. That'd be perfect. Yes, I do. Okay, this one might work. Okay, thank you. That's, I was like trying to, I knew I needed something. Okay, here we go. Oh, I got it. Okay. Shoot, did I drop it? Oh no, I didn't. Oh crud, guys. I had it and then it got stuck behind the fan. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. I was dealing with one earlier tonight in that exact type of situation in the corner of my 5000D. And you'd be surprised they're dark yamics. Gravity doesn't help a whole lot with zip ties going through them little little uh, punch outs. Okay, I got it. Now, just gotta snip it. It loose the shadow, getting your hand in there is not the hard part. Getting it back out is. All right, got that. Oh yeah, cool. That makes that much cleaner looking. Oh yeah, now let's get the last little bit of cable management on this side done, and then we can. Uh, we're actually this this build's actually almost finished now at this point. Blondie says you have a request to stretch and a dad joke. Yeah. Okay. Two jokes. They're like basically like, look, you're not being very entertaining right now, Ruby. So I need you to entertain me. I think I've taken a lot more time on this build than I think I normally would. But I want it to be good. It's a commission. Now's the part where we just finish the polish now. For the little bits that are left. That is that is Roby code, by the way, for anyone who's new to bust up the extra bag of zip ties. Yep. Basically at this point in time, all I'm doing is like I'm getting all of the, like, it's just about like getting all of it to look, it really is, it's just little bits of polish at this point in time. 
just to make it so like it all feels uniform and clean and Okay, here we go. Okay, doing the bottom. And I just got one more little kind of section to fix, which is with this little random USB thing that I had to like create an extension for. You want to zoom out a little bit or slide the build up? Ruby? Yeah, so I'm going to do that here in a sec. Okay. Now this is our last little Make sure this doesn't like actually cut off this cable. Okay, no, that's just dangerous. Sometimes you look for cool ways to hide stuff, but. Oh, never mind. That's got. Oh, I, I know why I was trapped. Okay, there we go. It had nothing to do with that cable, it had everything to do with this being up. It's not being too tight. felt like it wasn't that heavy. Yeah, I guess it was, okay. Oh, dude, it's like you don't know if it's... Here, you get out of the way. And you, be gone. Yeah, it's like I'm trying to think if, it's, if it is, but it's, it is definitely okay. It's causing more pressure on the cable than I want, okay. Little things to create tucking if possible, but... I'm afraid that's gonna actually hurt that cable, so I don't wanna do that. Okay, so that is as much tucking and stuff like that as I can really do. I've got one more little bit to fix at the top, but we still have the extension to do. Extension, two dad jokes, stretch, and an NVMe giveaway. 
Oh, that's right. Let's do the NVMe giveaway. I'll do the stretch. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, exclamation point community. This is for a one terabyte Kingston Fury. Starting the giveaway right now, two minutes, guys. And then I'm gonna stretch. Uh, and then we'll uh, look at the build that we're doing, right? So people can see. So the build that we're doing today, guys, just so people, because we haven't talked about it yet, we're using a Ryzen 9 7900, uh, the Asus RG Strix B650E-F gaming Wi-Fi motherboard uh, for our uh, SSD uh, graphic card. We have the Asus Tough Gaming NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. Uh, for SSD, we have five terabytes of storage, two two terabyte SN850 Xs, and a one terabyte OS drive. We got G-Skill Triton Z Neo, 32 gigs of DDR5 at 6,000 mega transfer. We have uh, the uh, Deepcool AK620 digital cooler for the case we're using the Fractal Torrent, the RGB edition. And then we have the Corsair RM150E. That is our power supply, uh, which has actually got that little cable we need, but we're gonna be using an extension for it, so it should look very, very nice when we're all said and done. Can we fix the top here? There's like one, yeah, this right here. I was like, yeah, that's, that's not gonna fly. I don't know what, there we go. Okay, this is for our RGB bar. Stuff has just gotta be thin. So I'm just making sure there's nothing like popping out or anything. You're I still just... on your P Arch graphic too. Yeah. Okay, let's go to static. I just realized something guys. I'm running this. Uh, I'm running this back cable, not to where it actually belongs. See, this is what I'm talking about. So I made the mistake, and I just realized it. Let me go back to top down. I made the mistake here, guys. I was running my this right here, which is my CPU cable. I was running it down like the PSU was down there, but it's not. So I have to like, I was like, oh yeah, I gotta reroute this. Luckily it's an easy fix, it just goes right here and then we'll have it ready. And a winner has been drawn. Congratulations to Ministress. Congratulations, Ministress. There we go. Okay, now we are ready for Last cable extension, GPU. I'm gonna take a drink, read, read a dad joke. Two dad jokes. Two dad jokes. Okay. Trying to find the dad jokes. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, let's see here. <laughs> All right, so I have a joke about a roof. Okay, so I have a joke about a roof, guys. You guys ready? Uh, actually, never mind. It'd be over your head. And then I have another joke about inferiority complexes, but... It's not very good. The one cable is disturbing. <laughs> what is the one, you said there's one cable that's disturbing. What's the one cable that's disturbing? Oh, the one about the airplane that's over your head? Okay, right, let's go ahead and do our 24 pin. Um, there we go, there we go, there we go.
24 pin. Uh, Bronson Wilson, honestly, you don't have to upgrade from that at this point in time. If you want to, you can. He currently has a Ryzen 9 5900X, Roby. Oh yeah, no, you're 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 in good shape. Okay. So really what we got left, guys, not much. We got our 24 pin, and then we got our GPU, and then PSU, and then that's it. We're actually pretty close to done now. Okay, we're a little washed out on the top down cam, so. Okay, we want this like this. There it is. Guys, we are 36 points away. 36 points away. That's what we're going for. 36 points. That's what we need to hit that level, that final two terabyte. So we got to get two terabyte NVMe storage. 36 points. That's what we're driving towards. And I want to be able to do, like, if we could do that, that is a huge thing. That means that puts us in really good shape for hitting Partner Plus. That is 36 people deciding, hey, I'll do a, a Tier 1 sub. They have to, it can't be a gifted sub. I'll do a Tier 1 sub or a, uh, or a Tier 2. Now, here's the deal, guys. If we can do that, I'll just give $50 cash. $50 cash on top of the 2 terabyte. NVMe drive. We just gotta hit two terabyte. I'll do $50 cash to whomever, but we gotta hit, we have to do 36 points. So that would be, that could be, no, it can't be prime. Prime subs help, that, don't, don't get me wrong. Those go towards gift cards and all that sort of stuff as well. But if you, that which goes towards unlocking gifts to cards, all that kind of jazz. But what we gotta do is we just have to, we just gotta Didn't get, some people to hit tier one, or you can do tier, they could be, what, six tier three folks, and I'll just give away $50. You said we were shooting for 200, correct? 200, and we are at 166. So 34. Oh, 34, yeah. So Prime goes towards unlocking that 60, that would almost, if we get the next 33 subs, that would take us also to a $100 new gift card. So 50 bucks up for grabs. All you gotta do is just drop a tier three, a tier two, or tier one sub. You, it cannot be a gifted sub. It has to be you subscribing. It's all good, Ever. You might win, you could still, anybody's eligible to win the prize if we unlock it. No, oh, come on, you. It's always this one cable come. And you're still on top down as well. Yeah, I'm, that's where I'm supposed to be. Okay. I'm just back here doing. Uh, I wonder. I guess. I guess I can put the uh, thing back on for a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. I'm just putting the cable combs on. I have a lot of lot of chats going on. I looked up and I was like, he's talking about doing something, but all I see is this. So I figured I'd throw it out there. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So now what we do is we work on making this 90 degree.
Actually, I'm going to do a fourth cable comb. Yay, we're at 200 git, yeah, and the likes are free, guys. Wait, we already hit 250, oh, we hit 250 on YouTube already? Oh, we're at 201. So then why did she say YouTube gold reached? Is Blondie been drinking again? Uh-oh, Blondie. <laughs> I think it's from the way that sh that Schwetty phrased it. Oh. So yeah, we're at we're at we're at uh, 202 of 250, so we hit a stepping stone. We haven't quite hit the goal line yet. Yeah, it's almost, it's getting there. It's almost finished now. You do not have much more to do. We've routed everything up to the front, up to the right place. For the back. Now all we have to do is GPU, guys. GPU, PSU. So there we go. Uh, well, actually, I'll do that after I take off. The, I'm going to put the PSU in. Oh yeah, that was never mind. Thank you very much, Tizanek. Here's the top down, guys. Now it's just time for our GPU. There we go. Hey, well, wait a minute. Oh, Blondie must have missed that sub, okay. Yeah, we're trying. We're 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 working on keeping it clean. That's what we want. We want a build that looks incredibly clean.
Well, no, you said it afterwards, but we had said it. We, you, you had, you had mentioned it, but we had already, we had already acknowledged it. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. The moment you buy something within X amount of time, it's going to be out of date. And I don't know if the, I'm, I'm not expecting a, a, a massive jump in power, right? Like. The supers are just going to be in between the they're, they're just going to be kind of in between power, you know what I mean? So it's like it's not like they're going to it's not like a 4070 super is going to outperform a 4070 Ti. So it's just going to be one of those things that like all in all it just kind of goes the the one that's interesting is the 4080 super, right? Uh, because that one will be closer to a 4090 in power, but it won't be a 4090. So What were you saying? Yeah. But that just comes down to, I mean, the, the thing is, is that they say what the rumor is going to be, but like I said, we will not know anything until January. And it really comes down to, it's your call in terms of what's important and what you need, right? If you're not, if you're not doing 4K, then a 4070 Ti or a 7900 XT might be perfectly fine. But the thing is, is that it doesn't mean that the other 40 series are gonna be cheaper. We could all hope they go cheaper, but the odds of that happening? Pretty slim. Okay, there we go. Now I can take this off. Okay, guys, next next part of this whole thing is just literally we got what we got two cables. We got a cable to run down. That's actually pretty funny, Obi. What? You took the peel off the uh, off the screen there, and now your monitor, now your camera is having a heart attack. Because yeah, because it's the, trying, uh, it's trying to, it's because... trying to focus on itself, which is kind of funny. <laughs> okay, here we go. It took a long time for the 1080 to finally get to that point, though. Go side view. There 
Okay, let's grab one cable manage cable tie, just to kind of control this little craziness down here. There we go. Grab our, here we go. Okay. There we go, there is our front of our build pretty much done. I mean, it is, there's, not, there's nothing else to really run, but that's what the, the front of the build will look like. It, again, it'll all be lit up, which will look great. Um, and then you won't, like it just, it looks nice and clean, which looks great. I love the little gray on the cable, just add a little bit of accent there. And then all we gotta do is run our, let's run this one cable here. Try and get this in here, if at all possible. And that'll help basically make sure this stays. Don't worry, Konami, he will be doing some, some benchmarking. Oh yeah, we're getting there. There we go, and then there is our cable management for our build. So it's all clean all routed correctly, everything is like nice and in a good place. So all we gotta do now is just do our top, do our power supply and then that's it. And we'll try and get a control. We should only need one cable to run down from the power supply, which is our 16 pin. Everything else should just mat B controlled up at the top of the PSU. So that should be everything I need in the back. Guys, we still have that two terabyte up for grab. Trying to get that 200 mark on the Partner Plus score. So I've, and, I've, and we're gonna, and we're gonna give away fifty dollars, just fifty dollars cash. All I gotta do is drop a tier one sub or a uh, or a tier two or tier three. We're trying to get thirty six points. What are we gonna say? And, and we're at two hundred and eleven of two hundred and fifty likes. On and then yeah, we're at two hundred eleven of two hundred fifty height likes, guys. Okay, here we go. Let's get ready for our build part here. Uh, the, we have, yes, we have done the, oh, the winner for the other PC has been announced, yes. And that person has been notified. You're talking about the last sub PC, yes. Hey, Dragon Strike, drop in one tier one sub. So Dragon, okay, so thank you very much for that. That helps towards the, and he made it 69. That helps towards a $100 new gift card, but other people, yeah, you, you, if you, you, the person did get notified, yes. Um, we haven't heard from that person yet, but yes, we do, we, that person was notified. Um, or maybe we have, I don't, my dad's running it, um, but, uh, guys, uh, the one thing I will say, it was the um, it was the other system, the other PC used to be up here, but uh, they have to, you have to subscribe at tier one for yourself, or tier two, or tier three for yourself, or upgrade your sub to tier one, tier upgrade your sub to tier one, tier two, or tier three. Unfortunately, gifted subs don't work for this thing. I'd have to go back and look at the name. The, the name has been drawn. And the winner has been, my dad has notified the winner and he may, that person may have already asked. I, I, was, I will announce it next, uh, on, uh, on uh, Thursday. And then the person before that was Riddick. Oh yeah, here we go.
Oh, the Intel one we haven't announced yet. That'll take, that'll take weeks to announce because it has to go through all the legal stuff. So there was one that was a 4070 5800X 3D system, and then the other one was the 14700K 4070 Ti system. And then that was the Intel one. That, that winner will take, it'll, it has to go through all the legal stuff and everything. So that'll take a couple weeks to announce the winner. And then we have another, we have, we have the new sub only giveaway that's just went, that just went live today. Okay, I need the cutters. What did I do with them? Oh, they're there. I'm not looking for them. No, I found them. I found them. I found them. Okay, we got that one. Need one CPU cable, found. And then we need, not that, not that. This is where we find all the cables we don't need. Okay, I do need, I do need SATA though. These I don't need, okay. Uh, Intel is, I don't know when that one's being announced. That was done by, that was not me. I mean, I was part of the, I was the team who did it, but the team who running that giveaway was not me. I ran the launch one. So that'll be announced by a different team. Where is the other, this is like the 16 pin, but not the, where's the regular 16 pin cable? Okay, got to find the regular 16 pin cable. Am I blind? This is a 16 pin to two eight pins, but I need the 16 pin to 16 pin. The uh, RME doesn't have a 12 pin on the PSU itself, so it uses a 2 8 pin. Oh, I thought it, okay, no, never mind. It just comes with the, okay, cool. Thank you. Then I was looking at it backwards, okay. So I did need that cable, but it still comes with a 12 pin, but just not a 12 pin connector on the other side. Okay, cool. Okay, I have all the cables in. Thank you very much for doing that. Or I was like, wait, what's happening? Dragon Strike. Oh, giving a couple gifted subs. Appreciate that, Dragon Strike. That gives those people extra entries towards the PCs. Whoa, somebody's revving. Okay, here we go. People can also order the premium version of that cable on the Corsair website in a couple colors. Yeah, I've seen it. I don't like that. It has a lack of combs. I don't. I, I like it. Like I've used a number, but yes, it is nice that Corsair was one of the first to be able to to order that to have that cable available to order. And I think they have a ninety degree version too. Okay, one more cable after this, guys. Okay, that's all the cables. I have every cable I need. Now we just pop it in here. want this the other way. Uh, 
Oh, that's just mean, Igor. Yeah, they did. They wanted it the other way. Okay. I don't need Molex. That's not a thing. Don't lie. I forgot. This has got a solid top. Uh, that's why they did that. But are you saying you can't blow air through a solid surface? Yes, I'm saying that. <laughs> I need it, Igor. This isn't quite lining up yet. There we go. There we go. Time to finish it out. Okay, guys, all the components are now in this, in the, come on. All the components are in and we still need uh, 31 more likes on YouTube, guys. Likes are free. Let's get those last likes, guys. We need, we haven't had any points. Thank you very much for the 40 or so that we have gotten today, but uh, we need more points, more everything. Uh, but we did. Be Beowulf doing a prime sub. Thank you very much for that. Oh, yeah, here we go. So now what we're going to do, we have one cable that we need to run some distance. It's this one. No, it's not. We have one cable that we've got to run some distance. It's this one. And then we can tighten all the other ones the way that we want. And Scorp just subscribed with Prime. Thank you very much, Scorp. Guys, let's get the link for the YouTube video out and let's go ahead and have people uh, hit that subscribe. I mean, hit that like button. Get those last 250 likes. Links posted, we need 17 more. 17 more likes, guys. Likes are free and that's $25 new gift card. Okay, guys, cables are, that, that's the last of the cables that needs to be run. Now we just basically make. Open this up here. Try and run as many into this as possible. Okay, so here's our. CPU. I don't know why the Halloween music is still playing it. I don't know. I haven't heard music on a stream in forever. Okay, here we go. Next one. Hit more likes, guys. Can we get it done before he finishes the cable management? Or cable installation, I should say, at this point. Blondie says you have a request to hydrate. Okay. Oh, come on.
You guys are close. Two fifty one. There it is, guys. That was fast. Good job, you guys. Thank you. Okay. We got a hydrate request, but we are literally on the last zip tie of the build, so. I will take a drink right after I do this. There it is, guys. Build is done. Completely finished. That was that was a lot of work in terms of just cable management just to make sure this build does not have you just gotta be very intentional about your cable management just to give you guys an idea though. So there's the top, again, everything really clear here. And then you also have, here's the back. Again, very, very clean in terms of just the cable management for this too. So again, nice and clean cable management in terms of that, angles, all that sort of stuff. And then of course, then we have the front as well. There we go, so there's the build, all together finished. Hope you guys like how it looks. I think it came out really clean. Only part I got left now is just getting all the parts on. Okay. Okay, side view. Start putting the panels on now. There we go. Looks all nice and sleek. Yeah, it's that's it is it is supposed to look as clean as humanly possible. Okay, let's make sure our internal side is peeled. There we go. Man, that back went on like no problem. 
That is a sign of good cable management in this case. It like just popped right on. No, like no, no issue whatsoever. Okay. There it is, guys. So we're just gonna do our deals real quick. And then we will turn it on. We hit our YouTube goal already. There's our build ready to go. Don't forget the zip tie count. Oh, let's and do that real quick. Yeah, yeah. here we go. Let's do the zip tie count. There was a lot. Guys, this was a lot of zip ties. This was a lot of, a lot of zip ties gave their lives for this build. And only one sacrifice. And only, yeah, only one frivolously. Man, yeah, that's, dude, the build looks so good. It looks really good. Okay. Let's go top down. Here we go. You guys ready? One, two, three, four, five. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. There's 10. 10 zip ties who have sacrificed themselves. One, two, three, four, five. 15 so far. One, two, three, four, five. There's 20. One, two, three, four, five. There's 25. One, two, three, four, five. There's 30. 30 zip ties. One, two, three, four, Five, there's 35 zip ties. One, two, three, four, five. There's 40 zip ties. One, two, three, four, five. There's 45 zip ties. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. There's 53. Another odd. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 53. 53 zip ties today. That was a lot of zip ties. 53, that's, I don't know what our record is, but that was that was pretty high. And if you've been buying stock and zip ties, Roby just made you some more money. Oh yeah, for sure. I used a lot in that build. Ugh. Okay, 53 zip ties now in the garbage. Okay, let's take a look at our, let's take a look at Deals today. <sighs> Take a drink. Got to hydrate for sure. And we've got Will at Post running, so. And then, yeah, Will at Post is going right now, guys. Ugh. Oh, that one took a lot longer in terms of, I think it just took a lot longer to get done. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put in the actual HDMI cable real quick. Knew something was missing, guys. Whoops.
Oh. Okay, so uh, I'd like to tell you guys about RubyTech.com. I know a lot of people have been asking about when our build mats and stuff are going to be uh, popping in. This is the best place to find that stuff out. Uh, the other thing worth noting is that this is also for our builds. Like if you liked a particular build and you're like, hey, I want to build this amazing PC, you can head over to RubyTech.com slash builds. All of our parts are listed um, here on the site. I don't think they're supposed to be like that, so I don't know if he changed it or what. Maybe he did. Maybe this is a new thing. Um, so anyway, yeah, so you can sit there and see all the parts and then, oh yeah, and then go over them and stuff like that. But yeah, here's all the parts for the um, for this particular build and all of the other previous builds, plus videos to see those. So if there's a build, like for instance, you want to build the Evangelion build or whatever it was, you could find uh, that uh, right here on the site. Uh, also, the Robitech Insider, great place to find all the information about giveaways and stuff like that. People are like, oh, there's, you know, are there giveaways? Robitech Insider, you can subscribe it right at robitech.com. We have thousands of subscribers now. Uh, you can go here, it has all of the videos, plus down here at the bottom, also all the giveaways and the community giveaways as well. So if you guys are curious what giveaways are going on or what's going on in the community, you should definitely talk, uh, sign up for the Robitech Insider, just robitech.com slash insider. All right, let's see what deals Tom has found today. Uh, Deep Cool LS720 SE uh, cooler. Uh, this is their refresh for their uh, LS720. Uh, it's got a beautiful infinity pattern, very, very easy to install, very inexpensive, and very powerful for literally $87. This is a fantastic cooler. I also really like it because everything daisy chains together, very easy in terms of cable management and stuff like that. And then if you want to see our review on it, you can check it out over at uh, youtube.com slash Robitech. Uh, HP Omen 27 inch IPS LED QHD 240 hertz monitor. Uh, right now on sale for $299.99. You got G-Sync and FreeSync compatible and you've got DisplayPort, HDMI and USB. Corsair K70 Pro Mini Wireless RGB. This is a 60% mechanical. Uh, usually it's 129 bucks on sale. Oh, sorry, usually it's more than that. It's almost $200. Uh, fantastic keyboard. We I use these on all of my uh, systems at home. I love this keyboard. You can also change out the keycaps and stuff. Um, it's really, really great keyboard. On sale right now, $99.99. Uh, MSI Codex R Gaming Desktop. This is a Core i5, 12400F, 16 gigs of RAM, uh, RTX 4060, one terabyte SSD, $220 off. So a 4060, 12400 system for less than $800. That is actually a really good deal um, for a PC. And the, you're, with, that, with the 12400F, and that's, you'd have no air cool, airflow problems at all. Um, CyberPower PC, this is a Ryzen 7 5700, 16 gigs with a 4060 Ti uh, with a two terabyte SSD. So if you wanna go Ryzen, this is a Ryzen 7 5700, uh, same thing as, this, as the Intel version. Uh, and you're gonna get uh, $275 off. You got more storage and a 4060 Ti for $899.99. And honestly, I really like CyberPower's, um, I like CyberPower PCs. Uh, warranty. It's, it's better than anything else. And then the DJI Vet Explorer, this is their FPS drone. Uh, my son uses this all the time, 30% off, 30% uh, off making it $889.99. So if you're looking for a good first person shooter drone, that's a good one. I will tell you, man, these, these two PCs, this cooler and this keyboard, these are some real, these must be pre Black Friday deals because these are actually really ridiculous. This and this are really, really good uh, PC options for what you have here. So, yeah. Um, anyway, that's it for the deals. Everybody say thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Bot. Yeah, thank you, Bot. He found some really good deals. Um, so, yeah, those are, if you're looking for a very inexpensive PC, those are two really good options for sub a thousand bucks. So, yeah. Okay. And as far as that keyboard, I agree with you 100%. I've been dailying it for a while. Yeah, that keyboard is awesome. I love that. I love that keyboard. Okay, let's get this all set up for you guys to see. I'm assuming the will it power on is already done. Yes, will it post is completed. Okay. Okay. Here we go, guys. The moment of truth. Will the PC post?
Okay, that goes up there. Goes right there. HDMI. Oh, Riddick's been betting against you over there on Will It Post. Well, he can do that. Okay, there we go, guys. Everything's all plugged in. Turning it on in three, two, one. Ooh, I see lights. Boom. Look at that. And there is RGB at the top and the bottom of the, of the uh, deep cool. So that means that we do have, the deep cool has power. Now we just gotta wait and then we'll get the, uh, we'll get the uh, OS in and go from there. By the way, this looks really good. Okay, well, there it is guys. The build is done. And it is lit. The question is, will it post? Going to capture here. I see white lights. Oh, oh, well, it looks like Riddick lost some money because there it is right there, posted. And we are posted. That's what you get for betting against me, Riddick. Riddick's broke. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's go to side view, get it lined up so you guys can see a good view of it. We'll do the peel. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, now let's get the screen and stuff working, see how the thermals are gonna work. Throw in the Expo real quick. Get Expo on. Ruby might have already mentioned it, but you can do the fans as pull, pull here so you can see the RGB RAM more and the temp should still be great on this build at stock. Yeah, you could. But it's funny because the way that the G skill is hit, it almost feels like there's like a little bit of RGB at the front. It does, it, it looks nice. Okay, let's get this, let's get our RAM set up real quick. There we go. All right, we're all posted stream, so I am gonna take off. You guys We will see night. you later, bye. Thank you, Zeissen, for all your help. One thing I actually like about the uh, Fractal is it actually has cable management for your for your actual uh, cables coming out of the back of your, your PC too. So you can like literally like get them all to be like up and all that sort of stuff if you really wanted to, which is actually pretty cool. Okay. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to reinstall Oh, maybe not. Oh, there it goes. 
Okay, there we go, guys. We are in the browser now. I mean, the game net thing now. Okay, let's go display part. Whoa. Anybody asking, hey, Roby, that, that looked like the AMD driver. It was because we have it on the, uh, we have it on the um, CPU. Okay, we're gonna go to 4K. Keep changes. Okay, so let's just see what temps are like, which I, I'm guessing are gonna be pretty dang good. Go to capture. Roll up Cinebench. And again, guys, just for people who are joining us, because there's over 400 people here, the build that we built is a Ryzen 9 7900X. Uh, we have 32 gigs of DDR5 uh, G Skill Triton Z Roy uh, Triton Z Neo. Uh, for the uh, motherboard, we're using the Asus RG Strix B650E-F Gaming Wi-Fi. For the graphics card, Asus Tough Gaming NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. Uh, for the uh, SSD, we have five terabytes of SN850X Gen 4 NVMe drives. We're using the Fractal Torrent RGB case. The Deepcool AK620 Digital uh, is our cooler. And then the Corsair RM1000E is our... K, uh, is our um, is our PSU. Now, one thing I did forget to do real quick is I forgot to download the deep cool 620. So you guys can see the digital thing there. Downloads. And here we go. Oh, we're going to turn it up to 11. I'm glad you guys like it. I'm glad you like how the build looks. So we're just waiting for the deep cool to download. But there it is right there. So you guys can see the build. Um, one thing I can do real quick. Let's do um, Asus Armory Crate. Let's get our GPUs and everything to color up here. Skip. Cancel. Let's go to here, just make sure we don't have any updates because sometimes you have to update your GPU. Okay, everything there is good. We're gonna go to here. Uh, well, it's gonna take a little, well, apparently it's not quite there, so. Hasn't updated our quite yet. Oops. Okay, let's go to downloads, extract all. Okay, here we go. So we'll go to side here. You should see the the gate, the temperature come on here pretty quick. go to there we go let's try teal the teal might look a little bit better there we go
I'm going to reboot real quick. I'm glad you guys like it. There's the front, so you guys can see a little bit more of the front. Let's see if we can get you guys this. So you can see those big, massive kind of front fans there. They really, they really just do a, they make it really hard for you to be able to, sh to show them there. There you go. Just rebooting now. There we go. Okay, just get our, our screen should show up here in a second. Whoa, device not found, okay. I'm gonna check our See if there's it says it's not can't read it. Check to make sure it's plugged in. Try one more time. Oh, cancel. Showing the device here. I wonder if I need this to go all the, like it has to. I may not be able to use an extension. Hold on. Okay guys, fun, this is the, always the fun stuff, right? You have to troubleshoot the little things. Let's go to side here. Okay, I'm gonna try rebooting now, see if that shows up or. I definitely have it hooked in now.
Oh, it's always fun stuff. It's rebooting. Oh, there it is. Hey, I see it. There it is, guys. We have, there we go. We have temperature. There we go. Okay, now we have temperature. We have one more thing to kind of fix, which is the RAM, which I'm surprised is not, the, the MOBO is not picking up, but we're gonna find out. I mean, I can always download the G-Skill stuff, which is fine, but I'd prefer that it was just... Interesting. Never seen it have issues with G-Skill. Let's check the, let's grab the G-Skill. Extract all. You gotta make sure it all looks, it's got all the right colors. That's like, if you don't have the matching colors, it's not gonna work. Oh, okay, here we go. One more restart, guys. Ugh. What do you mean, uh, what do you mean it's just eye candy? In a good way, you mean? I mean, it's definitely a beast, guys. Again, it's a, it's a 79, it's like 79, an RX, uh, sorry, Ryzen 9 7900, a B650 uh, motherboard, an Asus Tough 4090, five terabytes of NVMe storage, uh, 32 gigs of DDR5 at 6,000 megahertz. You have the D-Cool AK620 Digital, the Fractal Torrent RGB, and then the RM1000E. So it is definitely a beast of a PC for sure. So we're just waiting for it to come in. So hopefully the G-Skill works. And then we'll have it all loaded the way we want it to. Okay, so so there so the RG the okay, so this makes me think the Aorus actually has it now. I think Armory's crate has got it now. There it is. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's what you want. All, oh, well, no, wait, would it, okay, so there it is. Okay, RFX, static. Let's just make it green real quick. Oh, now the G skill's fighting me. Oh, hold on, let me quit, exit. Okay, now let's see if it'll do it.
G skills fighting me. It's always fun when it does that. I mean, it's actually kind of cool with the orange on it. Okay, so let's go to apply. Let's see if that does it. It looks like it's just like jammed in there. There it goes, okay, cool. There we are, we're all lit the way it needs to be now. All right, cool. So now we've got it all lit. Let us finally see how this thing actually runs. Okay, so going to capture. I don't need that, except. Okay, here we go, guys. Running to see how this thing goes. It hasn't been fed air yet. Right now, it's running at 42 degrees, not a big deal. Running multi-core now. I don't even think it's gonna make this fan spin up. <laughs> Sorry, I don't think it's even gonna make the fan spin up. It's it's not, it's it's just gonna be like, yeah, it's not even gonna make the fan spin. Dude, this thing isn't even try. it's like, it's not even trying right now. Again, remember, it's just keep, look at the wattage. The wattage is staying super low. But yeah, this thing is, I mean, it's just, it's not gonna have any struggle what whatsoever with its CPU temps. That looks like my system. I barely hit 55C and that's with the GPU going full blast into the air cooler. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, dude, this like, I don't think we could make, the fans aren't even spinning like anything loud. I could put them on quiet and it would still, I mean, it's like, it, it's just gonna, yep. Uh, Lord Charles, uh, we can get you a link to the build, robitech.com slash build. Now we're gonna test a bunch of games right now. Uh, guys, I don't think, I uh, honestly, hold on. Just uh, bringing up, just bringing up CPU temps again. So we're eight minutes and 36 seconds in, or sorry, eight minutes in, and uh, this build is not, it's at 53C. It's, uh, it's, this thing is uh, not having a problem with temps at all. Like, it's just like, yeah, temps, whatever. And it's just like, you know, it, it looks fantastic. I mean, this this build will just basically be this noisy the entire time. Uh, yeah, there we go. So I would uh, I would say temps are fine. What do you think, uh, Org? You think we should just throw this build away? Unplayable, unusable. I'll gladly accept it. <laughs> Fifty nine C and it's just gonna sit there and run like that till all day. Oh, it might get up to fifty fifty three. And I could put the fans up colder if I wanted to. So yeah. Okay, well, I think we're good there. Let's check out gameplay. Lots of room to play with your uh, even if you want to overclock this GPU too, you got lots of room to play at the overclock too. They could probably just straight turn on PBO and it might hit 70s or 80s. I'm kind of doubting it would even hit 95. Can you get, oh, you get more out of it, you think? Oh yeah, you should, right? Yeah, you can PBO these. These are basically sold out their optimized power curve so they don't hit 95C. Yeah, they're one, it's 180, yeah, these are 180. Yeah, I'll let him, I'm not gonna do that for, I never do that for, uh, commission build but we could okay right, let's check out cyberpunk 2077 4k see how it, how it runs
Now remember guys, this is a Ryzen 9 7900, not a 7900X. Yeah, PBO is the way to go. Can you do that in the BIOS? Yep. Or you can also do a negative offset, which would keep the same temps and power and give you a bit more performance too. You just have to dial the negative curve in with stability testing. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what I forgot, guys? I forgot to put on MSI Afterburner. Yeah, I know you can do it with Ryzen Master. I just didn't know if you could do it in the in the uh, in the beta in the BIOS. Of course you can. Yeah, I'll at least for AM4 I used Ryzen Master to do the curve optimizer test, but in the end I just go into the BIOS and do that. Yeah, Captain Kozik, I like that. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's uh, let's just do a quick test. Here we go. Let's just do ra wow ray tracing overdrive. I can't believe it said ray tracing overdrive. We'll do texture quality high. We're gonna turn on frame generation. We're gonna have uh, all that stuff. We'll set it to performance. So this is a uh, video apply. We're gonna put it on full screen. So this is like this is path tracing, ray tracing, all the tracings just to see what we can get for the best graphical thing. Okay, here we go. First one, Cyberpunk 2077, kicking it off. Temp went up a little bit on the GPU there. It's in the 60s now. So here we go, 104 frames per second. This is all the rays being traced. No more trade, there is no more rays to be traced in this one. With path tracing, with re ray reconstruction. Same thing is happening here that happens on my system. During gaming, I see the CPU hit higher temps because the CPU temps are still low on CPU benchmarks only. Yeah. It's guess yeah, Mark, of course there's stingrays in this, dude. Yeah, I mean, what would you expect? There's the stingrays. Wow, it's in the 120s now. Um, yeah, and guys, don't forget, we still have one more giveaway we're going for. We're going for one more giveaway. We need 32, 34 sub points. Uh, we're trying to get to 200 tonight. So if you wouldn't mind, we're, it, we're gonna give away a two terabyte NVMe drive and $50 just cash. All you gotta do is uh, subscribe. You have to subscribe. Now you can't do gifted sub or whatever. You have to subscribe tier three, tier two, or tier one. Try and unlock that still too. Okay, so there is, that's that's all the rays being traced. I could go through and show you all the different varieties, but I'd rather just show you the worst case. This thing crushes the worst case. Now I will, I always like to do this. Let's do it without frame generation. So this is frame, without frame generation. This is uh, with DLSS, but nothing else. This is path tracing, ray reconstruction, uh, no frame generation. So I know some people are very anti-frame generation, so I'm gonna turn that off. Here's what you would get in that setting. DLSS is on. On path tracing, you're not gonna, you can't run native path tracing. And the only two is you can't run native ray reconstruction, which actually makes the game look better than what it would look at native. And this is 4K. This is not, this is just with DLSS, no frame generation. Hey, Jennifer Lou, thank you very much for the, thank you very much for the sub. The prime sub. And that gets you in towards the PC giveaway, the sub only PC giveaway.
So there you go. Well, remember guys, this is a 7900, not a 7900X. This would struggle with the 7900X. It's a very different cooling scenario. Okay, so there is Cyberpunk 2077. Hey, thanks, Riddick. I appreciate it. Thanks for the uh, subs, by the way, man. Okay, so there is Cyberpunk 2077. Let's check out a little Starfield. Uh, we still have to do the beta version to be able to get... The DLSS is coming. We're just waiting for the beta version to be done. So we'll check it out. So there is DLSS, frame generation, all that stuff coming to um, the, coming to uh, Starfield. It's just not quite out yet. So the, expect performance on an NVIDIA GPU to go up significantly uh, in the next probably two weeks. But still, want to show it. Yeah, Flaming Sarge, yes, DLSS is in, the DLSS is in beta for the official branch, for the official game. Yeah, on the Steam version. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, well, apparently I have to install. Okay, that's kind of... Okay, settings. Display, let's turn off. First thing we're gonna do is turn off VSync. Okay, so let's just render it at... This is raw, 4K with everything but... Motion blur on. Okay. So FSR off. Okay, so this is raw. This is raw, basically, Starfield. At 4K. So 100, 100 frames per second at 4K. I expect it to jump into the high 80s when we get to planets. And this is raw, there's no FS, FSR, none of that stuff on. So let's land. Well, they must have done some optimizations, guys, because it did not used to run this good. Or this is better than it has typically run. So this is 4K raw. Wait, do I just make sure? Yeah, with everything at ultra. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. They've done some graphics optimizations. So yeah, this runs way better. I mean, I don't. You don't even need DLSS on a on a freaking 4090. This is a 4090 temps uh, on the GPU in the 50s, temps on the CPU in the 60s, and there you go. Oh, there's a ship over there. I think this is. I think. What do you guys think? Pretty terrible. Should we? Uh, I don't think. I think this is. Uh, this is the kind of thing you should throw away forever. Hey, okay, well, there's Starfield, way better than I, actually better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be in the 70s. So it was running 100 north of 100 on a planet. I mean, north of 100 all the way into the 90s on a planet. So Starfield's obviously done some optimizations. Yeah, burn it. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, again, at 4K, the CPU, I mean, you saw the CPU utilization, it was super low. 
So it's definitely not the CPU. Okay, let's check out Call of Duty. Call of Duty. I said duty, de weasel. Uh, these are the AL, sorry, the Fractal Prismo, Prismo fans. So they're AL18s and AL14s. So 180 millimeter fans in the front. You have three 140s in the bottom and then a 140 in the rear too. Or if you want to, you can actually change the configuration to two 180s, two 180s at the bottom and a 140 at the top as well. I mean 140, but you could actually run four 180 millimeter fans if you wanted to. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna acknowledge. There we go. Continue, 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 continue. Not now. Restart. This is always the fun part, which like you got it like just to get into Call of Duty. Okay, guys, we're gonna start giveaways. We're gonna start giveaways here pretty quick. We're gonna have one more game after this. Run some Alan Wake, uh, just to check out Alan Wake, which is kind of the the other one that we've been we've been running recently, um, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll start giveaways right around then. Uh, in terms of giveaways, we have a twenty five dollar Newa gift card, uh, we have a fifty dollar Newa gift card, uh, and then we have uh, and then hopefully, guys, I'm hoping some people can just jump in again. We're going for Partner Plus. Uh, it's a top one percent. We just hit partner. I need your help. Uh, tier one subs, tier two subs, tier three subs. Give us sub points. We're trying to get to 350 sub points uh, by, uh, by November 30th. Um, I need you guys to help. I need your help, obviously, to do it. Uh, we are giving away one terabyte NVMe drives, but this one, we, we've given two of them away already. Uh, we just need, uh, we're trying to get to 200. We need 34 more sub points to be able to get that done. And so hoping somebody drop a, if you drop tier three, you get six sub points. If you drop two tier, you get three. And if you drop tier one, you get one. So hopefully we're, we're getting that and unlock that last giveaway. And we could almost unlock a $100 new gift card as well. Plus we give away a two terabyte NVMe drive and $50 if you guys can help. So, okay, gonna skip this. Go to setting, okay, whatever, go to set. Go to settings. Okay. I don't care. Settings. Okay, graphics. Quality. We're going to go to minimum or basic. We're going to go to DLAA or CAS, sorry. DLAA, which means nothing. We're going to go to display. We're going to go to doesn't matter. Unlimited, and then V-Sync is off. Okay, so we're unlimited now, V-Sync off. Okay, let's go to, I hope that, let's, where did they put it? Okay, let's, let's hope it's here. I'm trying, I, they've changed, obviously I haven't played Modern Warfare 3 yet, so. I'm trying to find the... Okay, so it's not there. So is it here?
Trying to find the benchmark, guys. Oh, dude. Oh, it's it's in private match. Okay, thank you. Well, now I feel dumb that I I want to run Modern Warfare three. I don't want to run two, so I'll go back to Modern Warfare three. This is guys. This whole launcher thing within a launcher thing is so terrible. I just want to say. Okay, let's try this one more time now that I know where it's at. Yeah, I mean, Ken, it's like literally I've, all I've been trying to do is to freaking run. All I want to do is just run a benchmark and I feel like it's taking like seven minutes or like 10 minutes just to get to that point. So dumb. Okay, so I have to go to multi, I have to go to here, private match, benchmark, there it is. Okay, preload, I gotta wait for this. Oh. I think, did it, is it done? Okay, well. Where is the, it says there's an icon somewhere that I'm preloading, okay. Do you see where it says I'm preloading? If you move the mouse off the shaders part and set it for a second, then it went away. Oh, it's up here. There it is, 68. I was like trying to find it. Okay, now I'm ready. Okay, I'm, I'm done. Thank you. Okay, here we go. That was, that was so brutal. So brutal to get into this, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's where it wasn't caught, too. And I thought, I was like, why did they change it? Oh, wow, this is new. We haven't seen this one. So this is raw 4K, no DLSS or anything. And again, I, I don't know why you would be playing a multiplayer game at 4K. I mean, in, term, in a lot of ways, you know what I mean? So like, Obviously, 1080p and 1440p is going to look way better. Wow, this has got like a lot of stuff. Well, there we go. 175. So this is on DLIA. And then again, we're not really using a lot of VRAM or anything like that. Let's do one more. Just to see. Let's just make it, let's just make it go crazy. Let's go DLSS. We'll put it on performance. Apply. Okay, here we go. Now let's see what it goes up to.
No, it's it's Twitch. It's yeah, the it looks fine on it looks fine on here. Okay, so we've now we're now we've now almost doubled our frame rate. Frame time is still two milliseconds. So this is 4K. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like that on. Yeah, that was a pretty good headshot, I gotta say. Well, there you go, guys. 175 frames per second. So actually, it, it dropped down. I mean, it was, a, it was like doing really, really well, and then it dropped. Wait a minute. That doesn't even look like the same. Huh, interesting. Well, anyway, guys, there is Call of Duty, which, I mean, again, it, you're playing at 4K, so that seems totally okay. Okay, here we go. So that's COD. Okay, last game. It was one in the in that one seventies raw. Well, like it was one. It was in the one seventies raw, and then it was in like in the high two hundreds in uh, for four K uh, with DLSS if you wanted to do that. That's true, bite me. You just do it because you can. Oh yeah, here we see. Let's see where we're at here. Let's go to options, graphics. We're gonna go to what this game requires. So we're gonna go to performance with frame generation. Turn off motion blur, put everything on high. High, high, ultra, high, ray reconstruction's on. Okay, there we go. And then V-Sync is off. Okay, good. Here we go. Motion blur came back on. Oh, it did. Okay, it's off now. <clears throat> no, we're going to do that at the very end. We have a 7600X to draw for, Kaysen. But we won't do that today. Uh, because I want to promote it, and I and so I, I got reminded of it today, so it'll be on Thursday. Nice, yeah. Yeah, he was also in, uh, he's been in quite a few Remedy games.
Oh, nice, Ghost Punter. Ha, <laughs> De Weasel, I like that. Well, I want the whole community to know. Any words of advice? Oh. So guys, we actually only need 21 more points to unlock that. So we're, we're at 179 of 350. So we need, we need 21 more points. That would be four people doing a, uh, four people, wait, right? Six times, yes. That would be four people doing a tier three would unlock that $50 um, and, the, uh, and the two terabyte giveaway. There's no game, yeah, this is just a show. Okay, so here it is. We are 96 frames per second. hundred frames per second. Now this is with frame generation. So understand we are just showing you with frame generation, this game is a beast. You also sit at the 1080p, so well, it's do expect yeah. Yeah. it won't perform as well at 4K. Yeah, so if I go to here, well, it's 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 uh, it's the render resolution. It's DLS asset performance. So here, let's just show. Let's go to quality, which would be, this is like uh, up a little bit. Let's see where we can go. I'd love to see for this game, north of 60 would be good. So we're in the 70s, this is okay. Now, if I took frame generation off, I don't wanna know. Yeah, there we go, see now we're below 60. I mean, 30 frames per second, I mean, you're essentially on a console right now. Again, this game is very, very... intense. It, I mean, graphically very, very intense, especially in the effects department. Okay, so here's DLAA. You can't do, oh, you can still do frame generation with DLAA. Okay, so this is raw with frame generation. Okay, so in the 5440, but man, if you turn this off, I don't wanna think about it. Oops. Ooh, there you go. 30, 28, yeah. So if I was gonna play this game, which I do, and I play it 4K, I would do frame generation, performance, and then everything else is the time. This is like pretty much perfect right here. And then, there you go, and back in 100. And the other thing too is I will tell you, Nvidia did a lot of training for their AI model for this one specifically. So um, it does look quite a bit better at this rate. So, okay, so just again, somebody asked question, what's the build that we're building today that we just got finished testing? So we did a uh, Ry uh, AMD Ryzen 9 7900. Uh, the build is uh, with uh, 32 gigs of G-Skill Triton, uh, Triton Z RAM, not Royal Z. Uh, we've got the Asus RG Strix B650E motherboard, Asus Tough Gaming NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090, uh, five terabytes of NVMe storage, SN850X Gen 4 NVMe storage, Fractal Torrent RGB, uh, and then we have the Deepcool AK620 Digital um, is, the, um, is on here, you can actually see that sitting right here on the side, absolutely beautiful cooler. And then the Corsair RM1000E PSU. But yeah, that build, this build came out fantastic. It looks so good um, and it came out great. Very, very well lit. 
um, and uh, will look absolutely beautiful for the uh, for the gentleman who purchased it. But that is it, guys. Okay, well then it is now time to do giveaways. You guys ready for giveaways? Now, here's a couple things. Also, don't forget, up for grabs, this beautiful sub-only giveaway right back here, the Spider-Man theme build, uh, up for grabs for the month of November, December. If you wanna get in on that, all you gotta do is drop your Prime sub, that gets you a free entry. Thank you very much, very much, Hadouken. Uh, if you wanna get in on that, uh, that is up for grabs. Uh, you just gotta have your Prime sub during the month of uh, November or December. Uh, and then uh, we also have tier one you get, if you subscribe at tier one, you get three entries, tier two you get five, tier three you get 10, and then every gifted sub gets you an entry and it's a uh, beautiful uh, Intel slash 4070 system that's all custom themed uh, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse and we can show you that as well. Also up for grabs, uh, guys, we have a number of PCs that we're gonna be giving away, some Christmas ones, a Starfield build. So again, subscribing, a really, really good thing for this month. Now, last thing, we are going for Partner Plus. I know I've been banging this drum, but again, we, I gotta do it for three months uh, or I don't basically have it. Uh, if you wanna get into that, all you gotta do is uh, subscribe at Tier 1. You have to subscribe at Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3. That gets me points, we're trying to get 350 points. If we get it this month, the moment we hit it, once we hit 350 points, we give away a 14900K. And then next month we would unlock a uh, unlock, next month we would unlock a 7900X, uh, 7950X, and then we would be giving away a 4080 and inside of a Twitch, all custom themed PC that we're gonna be giving away. So it's a 4080 system, thanks to NVIDIA, that we're gonna be doing in partnership with Blue Horse Studio. So we gotta get three months. We are at 179 of 350, trying to get to 200 a day. So if we get 21 more sub points, uh, which means you have to subscribe at tier one, tier two, or tier three yourself, uh, then we'll give away another two terabyte NVMe drive and we'll give away $50. So that is up for grab. So I am, I'm banging the drum because I, I wanna make it happen. There's a lot that comes out of it, but let's do giveaways right now, guys. First thing up for grabs, $25 new a gift card. This is for hitting uh, YouTube, for uh, hitting 250 likes up, exclamation point community, starting right now. <clears throat> I'd say this build came out quite nice, guys. Finally, there it is. It takes forever for that to show up. Two minutes, guys. Be cold, you think, for the Prime sub? Two years, man. Two years. And remember, guys, if you are subbed already at Prime, if you upgrade your sub to a Tier 1 or Tier 2 or Tier 3, that also helps us get towards the uh, towards our, our goal of 200, and su 200 subs. So, 200 tonight. So we have a two tear, we have NVMe drives up for grabs right over here. And $50 cash. Thirty-six seconds, guys. Okay, so now finally should have this. There it goes. And now the GPU is finally the right color. Go back to that blue. There we go, guys. There it is. It is all finally all the right color. The, the tough just takes a little while for it finally to say, hey, I have an update. And so it shows up just like that. But there it is, the full build. Congratulations to Richard Wong. Richard Wong over on YouTube, you are the winner of the $25 New A gift card. Okay guys, next up for grabs. Uh, make, next up for grabs, exclamation point New Egg now, exclamation point New Egg now.
giving away a one terabyte, uh, sorry, a $50 new gift card. Starting right now, exclamation point new egg now. Two minutes, guys. And then, guys, okay, so just as an FYI, what's going on for the rest of the week? So we are back on tomorrow night. We're going to be playing some Alan Wake 2. So that's going to be happening tomorrow night starting at 6.30 p.m. Uh, so that's just going to be a gameplay stream. Uh, then we are, uh, then on Thursday, we have a brand new case. You guys have never seen. You'll know all about it when it comes out. Uh, that's going to be happening on Thursday. That's going to be a fun build. It's actually sponsored by the case manufacturer. So that's happening Thursday. And then we're back on Friday for a Civ 6 competition, giving away copies, uh, comp copies of Civilization 6. Uh, also, basically talking all thing tech news and everything. That's happening on the Intel Morning Show. And then we're back on Saturday showing the Cooler Master Cube. It's like the IKEA of PC cases. So we're going to be showing that off with a beautiful AM all AMD build. Uh, both with a white 7800 XT and a uh, 7800X 3D. So that should be an absolutely fun build. And that's going to be inside of the Cooler Master Cube. So you're going to definitely want to tune in for that. So that's what's going on for the rest of the week. In terms of what's happening next week, uh, there may be some gameplay streams. I'm flying to Minneapolis uh, for my nephew's, my cousin's wedding. So I'm going to be checking. Maybe it's my nephew. It might be my nephew. My nephew's wedding. Somebody's wedding. I'm going to somebody's wedding. Uh, and uh, who's my uncle's son. So I'm gonna be going to my uncle's son's wedding, which is my cousin, yes, my cousin's wedding. So I'm going to my cousin's wedding uh, and we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be there. I, I'm gonna try and stream from Minneapolis. It just depends on what we can actually make happen. And if not, the next stream will be uh, on uh, Tuesday, the 28th of November, which is why we're pushing so hard uh, for us to hit the prime, to get all of those subs. Uh, before the week, the month actually ends because we got to hit 350. Yeah, my nephew's cousin's former roommate. So anyway, that's it for what's going on. That's the next four days. Streams all week uh, up until Saturday. So it should be a very, very good time. My uncle Coven's nephew's son's brother's sister's best friend who also is my cousin's nephew's uncle. <laughs> that's it. Anyway, guys, congratulations to Lord Pansington. Lord Pansington, you are the winner of the $50 new egg gift card. Congratulations. Anyway, guys, that is it for tonight's stream. Tune in on Thursday. We're gonna be building a brand new case from an unknown manufacturer that you guys will, you will know when it, when it comes out. Uh, but it's gonna be a big deal, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. That's gonna be happening Thursday. Beautiful build, um, and you guys are gonna really enjoy that. We'll continue the drive towards Partner Plus, and we'll be giving away a Ryzen 7 7600, Ryzen 5 7600X live on that show as well. Um, and then, uh, like I said, then we got stuff for the rest of the week. You can always check out tw uh, Twitter uh, or X. Uh, the schedule's all posted there or over at discord.gg slash Robitech. Anyway, guys, have a great night. Thank you for all of the people who subscribed. Guys, we still got a ton of points today. So I thank you so much for all of the points for helping me get towards Partner Plus. I appreciate everybody who gifted subs, who gave bits, who donated and everything else. You are amazing. Also, huge shout out to my community managers and of course my, uh, my tech specialists and everybody else who joined me. Have a great night and we will see you guys on the next episode. Bye guys.